Sorry, we're in a karaoke room. The floor is carpet, but it's really sticky. Look there. This motherfucker took his shoes off that and he's running. That's disgusting. That's gross. He's a good boy. He's a good, he's, he's, a, he's, a, he's the best boy. You know how there's best girl? Yeah. Archie is best girl. Girl. He's already, right. Well, for one, best boy is already a, a thing. He's best boy. Archie's our best boy. But not in the film but sense. Prezzo. He's just a good boy. Oh, Isn't this right. crazy? We can, have, we can have our editors fight each other. Ooh, in an <laughs> editor battle? Yeah. I'll make them do one half and the other and see who wins. Yeah. Or. You're talking about ed editing a video or, or like. Deathmatch. I'm not sure. It's like there's there's this idea that like it's an editor fight and they use their skills, but it like hurts them. Maybe they're hooked up to electrodes. Well, um, Prezzo has like four feet on Archie potentially. Ah, uh, yeah. Prezzo's tall, but he can't hurt anything physically. Like in his, he can't. I don't he, think he, he can fights bring like a, he fights like Voldo from Soul Calibur. <laughs> Prezzo, he <laughs> kind of like, moves around like this. He, he, he hisses <laughs> with <laughs> knives on his hands. <laughs> you could you could repl replicate that uh, coding. The coding fight scene from Social Network, but with our two editors. Yeah, <laughs> and it's just footage of me and my butthole getting waxed. Yeah. <laughs> you guys see that? No. We, we did an episode uh, recently where he got his full body waxed on, while podcasting. I have ingrown like, hairs all over my legs. Yeah, like fully nude on the table. Yeah. What's, the, what's the camera angle for that? Oh, it's... <laughs> yeah, I love that you asked. Well, <laughs> I'm just trying to picture what Archie, that would even look Archie like. Archie saw God when he edited yeah. that podcast. Our poor, <laughs> poor fucking editor and producer who had to sit through looking through his eyes yeah. and run. So only your asshole once. Well, Yan had my, to stare into my asshole like it was a, like you guys, a telescope. You guys met Yan. No, that the, guy looks straight there's one, Okay, look, looking at someone's asshole is one thing, but pulling a strip of pure wax out of someone's asshole and then dangling it like fucking fruit is <laughs> they didn't like that have we done worse <laughs> i think our patrons see chad's asshole once opposed to you wait really? really yeah we got Chad's done yeah we got, um, we got a stuff. thing off like an ad seen on tv ad where it's like a camera on a stick and you put it underneath fridges <laughs> and stuff like that <laughs> yeah so <laughs> so we got to put down like drain pipes to find missing rings and stuff <laughs> Our genius idea was we got a shot of the camera and then it was going into my asshole. <laughs> and like, you did it? Yeah. Like in, in, in? Yeah. In my asshole, yeah. Jesus Christ. Yeah. What did it look like? You're just God's I think the, quali gaming. the quality of the camera is so shitty. Yeah. It's like, is there a light on it? I don't. Yeah, I guess I could just was, become a patron and find out. I don't, remember, I don't <laughs> think I've even seen the footage. <laughs> <laughs> but we, we have other times where I've just yeah. full spread asshole, okay. put stuff in it. We've got footage of me. Getting nuts in my asshole and me spreading my cheeks and then mm. the almond nuts falling out. <laughs> no one's yeah. seen that one yet, though. There's uh, we, 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 did lacking, bro. we did a video where we did clay. We both were uh, trying to do pottery, and um, on the Patreon, there's a shot where I'm doing spinning it, and then Chad puts his cock and balls like into the fucking clay. <laughs> You show that? Yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> He's keen to show. I don't know how you do it or, can, or to have no ability How does none of this shit ever like well, once, it, once it happens like once, you're like, uh, well, I got to fucking play you into it now. Like, it. I gotta... it is an arms race. That's the big problem. Yeah. Like, uh, but for instance, he just pissed on the floor last week just for fun because I don't live in the house anymore. That's the kind of shit I used to do. But then he's he like, wasn't even <laughs> drunk. He just walks in the room and starts peeing on the floor and laughing. He's I walking. saw that. I fucking saw that. Yeah. I'm just sitting on the couch watching him. I'm like, are you... Ping all that over is the funny. That is funny. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that yeah, is funny. Yeah, it was. See, our, ca our cat so. walks up trying to drink it. And he's like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I had to scoop up the cat real quick. I was so worried. <laughs> but he like, cleaned it up. Him, he did. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That's, okay. that's yeah. our rule. You get credit for that at least. Yeah. I can't fucking leave it there. I mean, imagine I though. Still, you go to bed. I, mean, we I think still funny, live yeah. with cutie. So there's like a line that that cannot be crossed. You know? <laughs> that sounds like the line is being towed. <laughs> <laughs> well, cutie was at home. Cutie okay. was at home. Yeah. Hey, welcome back to the yard, by the way. Hey, it's the yard. Uh, isn't it the same? It's the same set. <laughs> isn't that We're cool? In America, <laughs> and, and here we have. Uh, we, uh, who are you guys? <laughs> what the fuck? I don't even know. Do you even know? Yeah, I'm I really don't know. I have dead ass never watched. This is actually guys. the thing. So this is, this is every guest, yeah. by the way. It's so never not been this way. I've ever had Anna. Anthony does not know who they are. That's, that's kind fair. of that's kind of refresh, refreshing point of view. I yeah. feel for to YouTube. me, to me, you guys are just two goofy and wild Australians. Mm. Yeah, you met us before you met YouTube us. I don't know which is better though. I mean, yeah. <laughs> In your opinion, who's better? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Me in person. I think Chad is uh, maybe more wild in person. But you're, only because... You're both the same in only, person, <laughs> by the way. Yeah, you're, you're worse <laughs> than, last night than I was. Yeah. Yeah, things got pretty wild. 
But I, also, think, I think you would be more wild if YouTube terms and services, if it was allowed. Oh, yeah, there's always the guidelines a little, were not being little broken. clown in the back of my head that goes, don't do that. They'll have to edit it out. Huh? Yeah. yeah. Edit this, <laughs> this footage. They can ruin you. Yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, on Patreon... Yeah, yeah, meanwhile, Patreon, you're throwing your dick and balls into pottery. Yeah, that's because I can, you know? Yeah, you're, fucking... you're truly unleashed. Yeah, just fuck it. All yeah, right. yeah. we always joke about our editors having a, like a hard drive full of stuff that they oh, can... Oh, the kill switch? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You guys have the same, like, thing? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Not quite the same, but... <laughs> so, we, uh, we used to have a show called uh, Mario Party League, where we got shirtless and played Mario Party. Yeah. And um, there, was, there was a taping that had to die. <laughs> I'll, I'll put that <laughs> there, there was a taping that couldn't see the light of day. Yeah. <laughs> they got a little Tell too me why. Weird. No, it was just... <laughs> Explain it. So you got... <laughs> your your, league, your yeah. guys' show, your podcast, it's like you review anime, right? And then you yeah. like you yeah. talk about it. But there's a third guy and no, he's no, gone. No, no, no. It's the Eat Wings. Yeah. It's the yeah. interview podcast. Oh. Yeah, one of them's bald. You guys just met Judd Apatow. Or, mm-hmm. or wait, Paul Rudd. I'm sorry. That yeah. was four years ago. Yeah, you'd be surprised how racist Paul Rudd actually is on camera. Yeah? Yeah. He had a lot to say. Yeah. yeah. He really did. Was he like weirdly yeah. specific? Yeah. Like, yeah. off camera? I can't get into specifics. I sure, signed yeah, the NDA. He's getting through a rent, and at the end of it, he's like, it's back. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've known about both of you for a really long time, I feel mm-hmm. like. I was watching like Max Mofo Pokemon videos when I was in like high school. And, wow. And yeah, I, I, I remember in high school, like, <clears throat> hair cake was like a national holiday. Yeah. yeah. Wait, was he in hair cake? Yeah. yeah. I've only ever seen like one piece of hair cake. I just know it's the Joji. You only saw the carvings on the cave wall. <laughs> yeah. Well, I know, I know it's like it's like what you show uh, Zoomers to be like, hey, you know Joji, check it, this out. It's, it's so weird that you're There's so lot, that you're so disconnected from it because you haven't seen like any of their content basically. But you'll get mad at me for like not having seen Swordfish. Yeah, Swordfish is a Sword great film. What the fuck is uh, that? Okay. I thought that was like a guy. I thought that was a YouTube <laughs> um, um, guy. Or <laughs> <laughs> What's he do? Swordfish no, it's, it's the old media. It's the old. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I grew up watching movies and shit, and then uh, uh-huh. and I'm the boomer, you know. So I get right. a bunch of shit, and he hasn't watched anything except Wendover and the Social Network. So it's like, what the fuck? Where do we bond? How can we bond? You well, you watch Wendover somewhere. now too, so we can. We That's have true. Him. We do love planes. You yeah. guys just bond together, right? You don't need to have likely things. You just got to share good times together, right? Well, I didn't really have parental guidance, so I need media to connect to somebody, or else I'm just like a floating man. <laughs> that does actually piece a lot together about you and me just now. I didn't. Put that you together. never put that together. No. <laughs> that I was raised on television. Nope. That's crazy. <laughs> no. Nope. I'm fucked up. Do you guys watch YouTube still after being part of the blood yeah. machine for so long? For sure. <laughs> no. He, he does every, the same thing. Like, every time we have guests on, and I, I don't research at all. He does all the research. I just shop and force Yeah, but that's like drink. more business yeah. side of things. I, I, the only thing I watch on YouTube now, well, it's not that I, I will watch. I will watch the odd Mr. Beast video, but I'm like, like I used to be very religiously oh, following fucking like 10 YouTubers, but okay. now I'm more excited about like a RuneScape video. Oh, yeah, I, de- yeah. I definitely watch a lot of YouTube, but Twitch, not at all. I don't yeah. think I really watched many streams like whatsoever there's only like a handful but uh yeah i don't know T- chad knows a lot about twitch but i feel like i'll know a lot about youtube i don't watch any twitch streamers i've like traditionally just never watched twitch yeah i'm yeah. 70 years old so i just watch artosis play brood war like i just i i'm disconnected there too do you guys think when when was the first time you ever heard of ludwig i'm curious was the um, subathon Prezzo. No, no, no. Prezzo. Yeah. Oh, Prezzo thirst posting about Ludwig? Yeah, we yeah. used to have a joke in the office. There is through Prezzo. <laughs> we used to always have a joke in the office because Prezzo, I don't know, would he always link about Ludwig and stuff like that? That's when Ludwig was getting like a thousand viewers or two thousand viewers. Yeah, Ludwig viewers. called him the F slur. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He did have to do spread that. the word. And, and yeah. we always had a joke in the office like, uh, Prezzo's uh, late on something, he's too busy watching Ludwig yeah. or. Prezzo Red, what you would always Prezzo's say. Prezzo's if you didn't turn something in, yeah. he's watching Ludwig again. Yeah. <laughs> so it was just Ludwig was just a, a vehicle in which to, to shit on Prezzo. Yeah. Well, Ludwig Prezzo. and Clint, we had the they were the two dumb yeah, dumb that's winners. right. Yeah. Because yeah. those were like those were like Prezzo's. Because he moderated for Ludwig and Clint, I think, or one of them. He never moderated for Ludwig. I no, wouldn't have allowed that. Been, been I hated Clint, Prezzo. Then? Yeah. Do you, do you know why? That? Prezzo would. He hated him. He would why? come. In, he would come into Ludwig's chat and be really fucking mean, and I didn't know it was a bit. So I remember one time, <laughs> That's present. And, I would, and I would see this shit because I didn't even know who it was, and I was like, who the fuck is this? And then one time during the subathon, which was like a giant stream, like it's thousands, thousands of viewers, Prezzo's talking, 
And I'm like, Brazo, what the fuck are you doing in this chat, bro? Like, you're such a dick every time I see you. Do not fucking talk in this chat. Is this when you ban him? You're a piece of shit. I didn't even ban him. I just, oh, okay. I just told him off. And then he had, like, an existential crisis. <laughs> yeah, Twitter. knowing Brazo, that's just, like, the... The worst thing you could say. He's actually do. a really nice guy. That's he's like, extremely yeah, nice. I, know. I love him now. But I was just like, and then we like kind of like squashed it. And then I realized he was joking the whole time. And uh, what we're sort friends. of stuff would he say that was that you would just be like, you're so fucking stupid, LOL. <laughs> <laughs> just, just like mean caveman shit. Yeah. And I was just like, who the fuck is this guy? Like, yeah. I'm, I'm, I don't know how you guys are. Probably the complete opposite, but I'm super confrontational where it's like, <laughs> Just today, like someone was talking about how me and Ludwig's commentary sucked. It's like one person at the Smash tournament we were at. I see you bro. replying to tweets and stuff I'm like that. Dick, yeah, bro. I fucking because every time you talk to them, they just stand down like little pussies. I can't. That is ah. true. That is true. <laughs> and when you meet them, we wait till you meet them in a real life as well. Like uh, no, so, no, I have. Oh, you have? Yeah, it's okay. the same shit. I have oh, a, it's not even that. I find it's like ninety percent of the time you do not. You don't even have to say anything when they meet you in real life. They're like, oh. Oh, you're a cool guy. Actually, can I get a fucking autograph? Can yeah. I get a photo anyway? They like, start, I really they when Anthony like, walks up to like one of these kids in real life, I see both their health bars pop up. <laughs> and like, uh, like Anthony's like level 50 fucking mage. And yeah, like, a question and mark. they're basically just a grunt that is a one hit KO. <laughs> I'm always like, oh, but don't. I don't, I'm not like a psycho. Like, I don't start shit, but it's like, if someone says the wrong thing to me, I'll, I'll typically be like, You've, that's really weird. You just probably shouldn't talk to me anymore. You should probably just go. You away. have crafted a, an aura of fear because I talked to a few people this weekend who saw me and came up to me to just chat a bit and then they were like yeah we saw slime but uh didn't really know what to say to him or how to approach him so we just meanwhile we just i'm just like <laughs> that's a blessing that's in, a blessing i'm just sleeping on the floor like i fucking you like looked I'm, like you'd fucking come off the street with your <laughs> backpack you <laughs> caught up on the ground having a nap over here but so, he, well, I, I i get those interactions as well we had a couple of them this weekend as well where some guy came up to me and was like ah oh, chad you fat like it's like abusing me and because he does it on camera so they're like Oh, Max does yeah. it. I can go, which is fine. Like, but yeah. uh, and I, I love li seeing the light leave their eyes. I'm like, please don't talk to me like that. And like, is it? <laughs> isn't it so beautiful? Yeah. Oh yes. And I'm an, it's I, the guy I, levitating over the city with the music playing. <laughs> and I'm, I'm also a bit of an asshole, and I, I don't only do it to the people that deserve it. But some people come up to me and ask for a photo, and like, can I get a photo? I'm like, no. And then just, same thing. Leave, but I immediately backtrack. Yeah, I'm like, I'm yeah, 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 yeah. That's, but that's I'm, a, I'm a bit of a psychopath because I really love like seeing that point one <laughs> second where they think they like got to leave right now. It's because we just we see so many internet comments. And we're just like, oh, the god, they're so fucking annoying. And then you get a one chance to just get back at all of those invisible people. You know, there was this moment this weekend. I was on a setup uh, playing melee with uh, Miles, who you guys met this weekend, and uh, somebody. I, I think it was Tim Carbon, maybe. And the three of us were just playing. We we're going back and forth. And it's like tradition in Smash that when uh, you guys are playing like casuals on a setup, somebody will come over and ask for it to be tournament. Like, hey, we need to use this for tournament. You get up and like play somewhere else. Somebody came up and asked us and Miles like thought about it. And he just turned around. And he's like, no. Nah. <laughs> and, 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 and he made them go play somewhere else. And he looked at me and he's like, we're on no mode today. Oh my god! <laughs> that, is, that is haram. I've never heard. I've never heard. Or yeah, two people not in the melee community. It sounds like kind of like, oh yeah, I guess defy yeah. whatever. And I've then, never seen that. Never. Somebody <laughs> else. Somebody else came up. Also tradition. If like three of you are playing on a setup and there's a free setup next to you, if a fourth person comes over and asks one of you, it's like, well, one of you come and play with me on the other setup. So you don't have to that, switch. Somebody did that like a few minutes later, and then Miles looked at him and he's like. No, I don't really want to. <laughs> wow, we're just having a like, day. And then I'm, we're in no mode, so I'm like, <laughs> are these I don't like, want to stay here. <laughs> are these like the top etiquette things you're not supposed to do? Yeah, like yeah, hundred percent. What's, what's yeah, the big? What's the biggest no no? In I mean, short of like, like one crimes? rule, everyone knows you can't do it a Smash tournament. Yeah, don't shower. Uh, there's a couple. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> No, it, no, everyone, everyone there was nice. Yes! Everyone there was nice. Everyone there was nice. Uh, I'll take that back. <laughs> go, that was, going for the hug after you win. Oh, okay. kill yourself. Yeah. Adding, you don't adding do that? Someone, adding no, someone in the Twitter post after you beat them. Which oh, yeah. Is basically so, the equivalent of hugging yeah, them. Yeah, so sometimes you you'll like win and then you'll tweet like who you beat the tournament and you can just write their names, but some people will tag their Twitters. Uh -huh. So like the person has just lost and then they get tagged in the tweet. Yeah, you can, tag them, you can tag them if they beat you, but it's not cool to tag them if you beat them. Okay. Because well, then all your, all your replies, all, all your notifications yeah. are going to yeah. be just. Congratulating the guy exactly. that just kicked around. But, it, but, it, but it's etiquette to shake because I remember watching a few 
You shake, you fist Long bump. Yeah. 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 If you don't fist bump after a set, it's usually because there's people. Yeah. That's a big one, yeah. If you don't fist bump, it is such a statement. Yeah. Which yeah. is like, you wouldn't think about it too much. But Actually, there was a pretty huge one. It was when Salem was like public enemy number one in the community and he refused to fist bump Armada and people went off yeah, about it for Yeah, like because it's like Armada's like a nice person too. Yeah. If, if the person's like a, then like if you don't fist bump him, it's kind of base. It's kind of hard, yeah. Like it, there's all these weird social kind of I'm, floaties. I've never been, like this was the first one I've ever been to Phantom. But yeah, it was interesting to see how the crowd was reacting to certain people winning or losing or whatever. And it's like, clearly everyone hates this guy or <laughs> clearly everyone wants this other guy to win. Yeah. We, we, if we, that we, guy wins, we, no one gives a fuck. <laughs> Alex we, was PC'd it together. Yeah, right? we, we, we were with I did a thing this weekend at the tournament too. And, and he sort of like never watched smash has nothing, no idea anything about the game. Never played it. And he's watching, he's kind of like piecing all these things intuitively himself. He's like, so that guy plays Steve from Minecraft. Like, <laughs> and he's watching him play. He's like building a wall and mining. He's like, but that looks really lame. And we're like, yes, continue. <laughs> and then he's like, but you guys want the best player in the world to win, not the second. Why? And we're like, well, the other one's kind of a wiener. And then he's like, that makes sense. He does look like he's playing lame. And we're like, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, very I sharp guy. Yeah. I heard him talking about Steve and he was like, what the fuck is like, isn't this a fighting game? Like, isn't he just playing another game? Like, <laughs> yeah, like, like, what's he doing? I love Alex because he's like a, he's like a man, man. And like, he, you know, he's hasn't played video games in 20 years and he's always yeah. been in the shed making shit. And then he gets, <laughs> he gets yeah. to this, Tournaments and there's a bunch of nerds like sitting around playing this game with all these different characters. You just can't piece together what the fuck is going on. He, he's, he's studying them like aliens. Like, but he's like willing to learn. He's like really yeah. interested. He's like quietly, he wants to know. Yeah, he's quietly a league grinder. Yeah. He plays a lot of League of uh, Legends. Apparently, is he good at it though? Uh, he said he was. Like, I know. So, I know league grinders that are still like an iron and they punch the wall every time they lose. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't know if he's punching yeah, the league wall. Might, yeah. but he league might have them like the the Venn diagram of uh, drywall punchers and gamers. Is yeah, like a circle yeah, for that, that game. The, Worst of the worst. <laughs> That's guys, where the racists come out. <laughs> do you guys game? Yeah, I do. What do you play? I play League. I play WoW. Right now, currently. Yeah. You see, oh, shit. Are you classic? BC? Yeah, you BC. Rating? BC, yeah, rating. Mm. Full wow. 99, some more Warcraft logs, double wall glaives. Uh, yeah, Chad's in deep. How I'm many people have deep. double wall glaives? Um, a lot. On your but, like, a lot, but like the drop rate is 11% on one. You need two of them. And uh, my guild got like three off hands. It's like pretty hard to get both. That's of them. the Sunwell, right? It's no, no, that's uh, well. Sunwell's the last tier of uh, TBC, which is what we're on now. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. And then Wrath's oh. coming out in a few months, which is what I'll go for. But I, I, I always say like in the equivalence of what I am as a YouTuber, where people know me, the equivalent is people know me in WoW, but on a smaller scale. So uh, I was out gambling. I can't remember who it was with, but. Um, I had two people come up to me at the casino and, not, and both of them I thought were fans and both of them came up like, yeah, we, we play WoW together because I do, I do like uh, <laughs> raids on like four different characters across all different guilds and I don't really talk to them after going in and out because they're GDKPs if you know what they are. A lot of people are going to hate me for doing them, but it's like where you what buy gear with gold. What are you gold. talking about, bro? It's like, no, sorry, go ahead. It's like a bidding system. So you carry a bunch of people and they bid on the items they want. Oh wow. oh wow! Oh, that's so, crazy! Yeah. Oh, so shit. I, I don't know about this. So shit. I do, I do a bunch of those on other characters, and I have people come up to me like, "Hey, yeah, man, like, uh, you, like, uh, you do GDKPs with me on your shaman, or ah, oh, yeah, you, I used to raid with you on GDKPs on your warrior and stuff like that, or I used to be in this guild." So I'm pretty. Why do you, you say people will hate me for doing this? It's because it's like random hunks that like ruins the World of Warcraft economy. Yeah, you're yeah. like you're you're basically commodifying right. your services. Whoa. Stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That, that, as a non as a non player, that is that's base as fuck. Yeah, well, there I are guess, people in, yeah. in WoW who would just like play the. Uh, there's an auction house where you like buy sell things, like a real auction house, and people would like only focus on making a lot of money. Like they didn't play the game; mm -hmm. they just did there are yeah. foreign people in other countries that will just sell boosts and stuff like that, and they make a living off because of you can make like ten bucks, which is low. Ten bucks in an Singapore hour, but, or whatever. But, you're yeah, like, that money goes yeah. a long way. That's the difference between rent or not. Yeah, it's I didn't know you're now. deep in that shit. Damn. Yeah, I used I'm... to. I used to know life league as well, but I've calmed down since then. Yeah. I just get my gold every season and fucking never play it again. Chad's the number one fucking game though is the the slots at crowns yeah. <laughs> slot machines. Yeah, we, we, yeah when me machines. and Chad met, like we we've never spoken to each other, but we follow each other for a long time. Well, and, you're, uh, you're straight edge, so I had to find something to do with you that we both enjoyed. Yeah, so, so if you came over to GG Easy where we were at the bar, and he kind of comes in, he's just like, "All right, like who who are you?" Like we kind of like we're like yeah we haven't really ever met each other. We we each follow, other we followed, like, I followed yeah. you for like two years. Yeah, I, yeah. I can't exactly remember why I followed you, but I'm pretty sure there's a reason. But sometimes you just follow people on Twitter and you kind of forget. 
Yeah, and, and uh, at the time, like I already knew who he was, so I was like, I have no idea what this link is. So we just like we figured we figured it all out, and then we walked out, and he was like, All right, let's get a beer. I'm like, Ooh, I gotta break it to him. And I'm like, <laughs> yeah. yeah, I don't drink. And he's uh-huh. like, What? He saw like I saw the light kind of die. <laughs> That's yeah. but, like, I, immediately after, I fully well, I fully respect people that say they don't drink. I don't really care. But yeah. So after, I feel so like after I, giving me a swirly, we walked out of the bar, <laughs> and uh, and he's like, uh, Yeah, something something gambling. I'm like, Well, I do like gambling. He like turns, but it was like a dog. Like, he turns to me. He's like, You like gambling? He's like 10k right now. We're gonna, go, we're gonna walk to the crowd. We're gonna gamble 10k. You ready? I'm like, okay, whoa, I don't want to lose 10k right now. I'm like, if Slime was here, he would love to do that. And he's like, well, how much can you punt right now? I'm like, uh, 5k. And so we're like, oh, right. And so we, we walk all the casino. We never did five. We did one grand each. We did one, in, yeah, and we, yeah. we left. We were good boys. But um, he taught me how to play baccarat, which was cool because you can bend the cards. I didn't know that. Was, I think that's the only reason Chad plays. Yeah, he that just game. likes to fucking destroy. No, I, I just, I, I just <laughs> yeah. love sitting down at the table with a small Chinese man that's been like logging it the whole night <laughs> and waiting for that one because they do. They sit there and there's a superstition. So even though the odds are always the same, I think uh, uh, Banker has slightly better odds. He'll sit there all night like mapping it out, and he'll eventually, after twenty hands, will do one big bet. Like that's a thousand crazy. Bucks. It's so that's so. Yeah, it's funny. And I'm you, mapping it out for him. So, like, we're already best friends because I'm playing all those hands. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're doing the grunt work. Yeah, I'm doing the grunt work yeah. and I'm losing money. He's sitting there going, yeah, get more <laughs> get more on the board so I can finally go in. Well, Chad's trying to teach me how to play Baccarat. And I'm like, okay, cool. I'm, like, really receptive to, like, learning new games at the casino. So, I'm, like, I'm really focusing and paying attention. And he's like, yeah, so you just do this. And then it's, like, you know, it's, like, pretty much 50-50. That's why they take a rake. And then he loses. He's like, oh, bad luck. And then he goes again. He loses. He goes again. He loses. He's, it's a $200 minimum table. So he's just losing, losing, losing. And then eventually he just loses like a thousand dollars in like like 30 seconds. Yeah. But like the Chinese superstition, I knew <laughs> when the tar- when the when the fifty to one tiger win was coming. So I put fifty bucks on the fifty to one. Yeah. Was it twenty five bucks? I can't remember. It was a super six. The super six, sorry. Yeah, yeah super and six. It hit first yeah. try. And it hit first try. Not, yeah, not, not target. It was super six, which is- And then uh, we leave by the way, long story short, this is another gambling story with so many of those. Long story short, we, we go down like a grand each. And then he walks over to a, to a fucking slot machine and he just punches it a few times, put $35 in. And he just punches it a few times and he pulls out a ticket. He's like, yeah, I just won $1,000. Yeah. And I'm like, I've never done anything <laughs> like that in my life. That's Minecraft, but for degenerate gamblers. Yeah, it, it is, it is just, a hit button, <laughs> flashy light. He was just chopping a tree <laughs> yeah. with his hand. Yeah. <laughs> the slowest way possible. <laughs> For people at home, the way it worked was I won $100 on a spin, just luckily, and then you can gamble your win on the slot for a 50-50. And you no, they do that here? Yeah, they do that here. Dude, they did and that we did on the, the... We did the other night as well. Suit to get like oh, four times. Four times. So yeah. And I just said, I just, I, you turn around for one second with some other people, and I just said, I said, red, red, black. I went, red, red, black, and I just withdrew. Like yeah. 1, it was very the, surreal because there was like a 10-second strip where like a group of like nine women recognized him and all freaked out. He won a thousand dollars, and then we just kind of left. And I, it was like this very—it was like a movie, it was like a solar eclipse, yeah. <laughs> just happening right there in the casino. <laughs> I was getting fucked though, because because he he kept telling me like people are gonna walk up to the table and you're gonna play stupid to get them to leave. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. People walk up. I'm like, well, time to play stupid. I lose. He plays. He splits tens. Always wins. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> but having fun. But having fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's honestly, but having fun. You just also win. Uh, Wait, you said you did Pokemon content? You know, it's funny. We were hanging out with our, our friend and his, his girlfriend. It's like I'm talking to my dad. I was yeah, like, yeah, no. I'm your dad right now. Pokemon. But Those it's funny because, because his girlfriend was like, oh, yeah, I used to watch him do Pokemon stuff. And I'm like, don't they, like, slam fucking beers like Chad's on that channel? Like, what happened? <laughs> what happened along the way? That's, yeah. That's We've just, always that's, done that. Yeah, that's just my, that's my uh, passion channel, Pokemon Cards. Oh, cards. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, okay, yeah, okay, yeah. Okay. Collecting cards. No, yeah, he's, play, he's done Let's Plays for Pokemon games, too. Okay. Well, yeah. I, I had, like, the... <gasps> Do you guys know Worcester? Not, oh, well, sounds he's familiar. a speedrunner for Pokemon okay. way back when, like, Twitch was just breaking out. He was just a rude guy. He was, he's Australian. And so sounds like any Australian. Was he Australian. rude or was he Australian? <laughs> no, he was, he was rude. He okay. would just, like, scream at his computer. He just, like, with the RNG, he had to, like, Reset to get the Squirtle he wanted and he never would and he was like fucking stupid. That's I, an Australian. But I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where he went. And I was wondering if you guys have seen. Yeah, we don't. Un, yeah, we don't all know each other. So. What? It's crazy. What? We you, are the you same say size. That like it's stupid, but in a, th- over the course of this weekend, it does feel like you all know each other. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty unreal that like all of our Smash friends have pretty much met you guys at some point or another. Mm. Well, we all go to the same bars and yeah, you know, and Callan and. 
bunch of other people, like Carbon as well. It's the, funny that we all just, we all connect by someone. I somehow. met a lot of new people though. Yeah. Because there was so many. There's just so many. At one point we were at, Smash Bros, um, what was the alley called? The, uh, Spice, Spice, Spice Alley. Spice Alley. Yeah. yeah. And everyone had come like a little bit more. It was like three or four more people at a time, five more people at a time. And the Spice Alley, which maybe fits like a hundred people, half it was us. Yeah. We were more than half. Yeah. I felt like we had, because we had a lot of it took a video of everyone exiting. Yeah. And the video uh-huh. was like five minutes yeah, yeah, long. Yeah, so that was a good video. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and it, it was like, it was literally like Top Gun when everyone's in the bar and fucking <laughs> Miles <laughs> Teller is playing on the piano. Except there was us. Uh, you you like that movie. <laughs> <laughs> I actually haven't seen that one. Uh, That's the funny part. Uh, fuck. <laughs> so. Yeah, Ludwig got a private screening to Top Gun Maverick, and we all went except for him, the fucking movie guy. Oh man, you fell off. I was sleeping. <laughs> I'm a sleeper. Uh, yeah, you were sleeping when we walked in. I just catch naps like it's my fucking job. That's what bro. happens when you get old. You know, you guys. So you're a little, you're a little muted right now. You guys got like cereal in your skull because of. Yeah, I wanted to, I wanted to bring this up because um I I, I messaged no, Max. No, if you pull up videos, no, not that. Like, thank God, not that. <laughs> that'll come later. But uh, <laughs> I messaged Max. And I'm just like, uh, I I say, what's the address where we're recording? And then he just I don't know if camera can see this. He just sends me a picture of this guy. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> Ludwig. What? <laughs> no, no, it's not. <laughs> no, it's it's a Ludwig. different guy. That's Ludwig. It's not Ludwig. Right, so it's a guy. I'll send it to go, Archie. If you go to uh, Twitter and you type in Logwig, his that guy is the will Twitter pop up. account Logwig. Logwig, yeah. 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 Oh. So we have a meme for that. Oh, you have brain. Rot. Yeah. The inside okay. joke is that. <laughs> and the, the inside joke is that uh, anytime we talk about Ludwig, we're secretly talking about that guy instead. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he sends me the photo, so I say, "Do we have a time?" And then he just says, I am rotting. <laughs> <laughs> and I like that because I've said the same thing just in general. So just whenever. So it yeah. felt, uh, felt pretty much getting good. no answers. So yeah, you guys kind of had a bender last night. Mm. Did last you mean night? Bender? We went on for three days straight for some reason. Yeah. We did Ludwig when he came here on Friday, hopped on a flight, hung over, went to Sydney, drank again, woke up, started drinking with breakfast. Was drinking until three AM last night. Yeah, and we had. Now you're drinking again. For we had reason. Bloody Marys for breakfast, which was. I feel like that was. That's a good way to do it. I don't think I've really started that early before, but the tomato it makes, it makes you start wrapping up the night a lot earlier. Otherwise, mm-hmm. I feel like it goes on longer if you start drinking. You're saying early. you're saying drink in the morning. What yes, do you mean exactly. wrap it up? What do you mean wrap it up? We went to bed at three AM. What you, <laughs> that's what, early <laughs> for us, isn't it? Typically, <laughs> no. It's because we got kicked out of everywhere and we couldn't get it anywhere. We had to go home. <laughs> God, so you're getting kicked no. out everywhere. The fucking Mango Saga last Dude, night. I, <laughs> yeah, but the Mango Saga started at like it's fucking like, oh my God. seven. Are we allowed to talk about this? Yeah. yeah. yeah it yeah. is funny. It is funny. <laughs> okay, so we have a really strict rule in Australia, and it's our alcohol laws. So a big no-no is taking a beer from one venue and out of the venue. That's the first big no-no. That's big trouble. Then trying to take it into another venue. Yeah, you can lose your liquor license. Oh, so mango and um, if you let people do it, if you let people do it, I so, think they were just watching everyone else kind of do it as well, though. Yeah, we were yeah. all sort of just. Yeah. Well, they, they, they didn't know. They didn't know what they were doing yeah, wrong. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, mango and uh, who was Joey and Joey, both walked in with a beer in their hand, and the bouncer was me like fucking yanks, like just hated America. He just hated me instantly. So I'd wrap. I'm like, oh no no sorry they're with us like they just got here they're drunk like and he's like no I got to kick them out can't let them back in so I went to the bouncer I was like what's it gonna take. I did not. I was gonna fucking take. I'm not going. I'm not walking with thirty people again to find another yeah, bar. Yeah, it's too much. Uh, so I was like, "What's it gonna take, man?" He's like, "I was like, hundred bucks." He's like, "Nope." And I was like, two hundred. He's like, "Nope." And he's like, "I was like, three hundred. He didn't believe me. I'm assuming. He's like, "You do not give three hundred dollars." I just pull that three hundred bucks. They went in. <laughs> <laughs> what a piece of shit, <laughs> dude. But the bouncer came up to me uh, after and realized that you know we were Australian. I was like, "Oh yeah, like I thanks like I'll, you look after them." Like, "I'm sorry, I got so angry." He was he was really really nice at the end. Yeah, but he didn't I give mean, the money back. No, I didn't. <laughs> That's <laughs> funny. I, 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 yeah, so I love that, was so happy. Not that Australian. I love how you told that story. It sounds like it wraps up nicely. <laughs> <laughs> that's just like, that's and the then, intro to the main story. And then I take a shit after I beat Mango uh, in a fucking beer drink. Because he's been on me all night. He's been like, yeah, I can drink a beer quicker. And we've kind of been tying. And he's been winning some. I've been winning some of them. But I'm like, get me with the cup. The glass. Yeah, he was also like, you won't beat me with a glass. Like, yeah, that was not, a big this thing. It's not going to happen. Yeah. That was a big so, thing is you really wanted to drink out of a glass. Because mm-hmm. Mango was just... Long neck and yeah, uh, so I, I grabbed that glass and I fucking smashed it in front of him, put it down, walked away. 
and I went and took a shit. And you were in there for some reason while I was shitting. You invited me in there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> for some reason. Like he's a, like he's a only, vampire. There was he only was one sh- toilet. I was like, I need a piss. He's like, I need a piss. And I was like, there's only one toilet and it's one room with the door locked. And then I get in there and I'm like, I need a shit. So he, but he's like, oh yeah, just come and piss in here with me. I was like, how? <laughs> so the I, you, I pissed in the sink. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he pissed in the toilet. He on his lap. And, and then he was like, legs. I need a shit. Did you just wait for him to finish? I, I pissed in the sink. Uh, you pissed in the sink, but he was shitting, right? No, he was pissing, and then he realized hot midstream that he needed to shit. I yeah. see. Yeah, but did you wait for the, to finish the shit? Uh, Were you there the whole time? No, nah, I, f- I think he was too shy. I think he waited yeah. to stop. I see. Yeah. yeah. So while I was shitting, you know, I don't, I don't know what fucking tonight, happened yeah. while I was shitting, but Mango got kicked out, and I don't really know what okay, happened. So, he was, so <laughs> 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 I'm assuming he does this a lot, like play wrestles with people and fights oh, yeah. people. Yeah. That's, yeah. That is yeah. the Norwalk, yeah. which is where he's so from. Yeah, so he was doing that with Ludwig. Um, <sighs> it's always he was, so get, it, was, it was going so long that it was kind of like everyone was like, okay, it's, that's, it's past funny now. <laughs> but he just wouldn't stop. Like he's just punching his legs. Well, he hasn't won yet. Yeah, he's being he's linguini. So, and, so Ludwig yeah. often says that when he fights Mango, he's like, "You have to sleeper him out. You have to kill said. him." That's yeah. what he said. That's what he said. He just doesn't <laughs> yes. give up. He's yeah. got the heart of a champion. Yeah. So it got to the point where people were holding him back and put like a barricade of stools between <laughs> Ludwig. So he was like, "He's a Minecraft cow." Yeah, he's like, a, <laughs> yeah, he's in like a safe box area, and he was still like. Clawing, trying to get over, <laughs> just to fucking swing, and it was like there was no stopping him. But uh, he had a smile on his face the whole time. But then, uh, obviously, at some point, we we're going to get kicked out if he didn't stop. Um, and what happened with? Do you remember what happened with the? the oh, that's right. I think the bartender said you, you got to stop, and then um, he was like, "Fuck you." Yeah, like yeah. That. He said, "Fuck something like you." That. To the bartender. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but then he got thrown out. And then he kept yeah. trying to get in, and, and then, the big Mary bot. I'm at, this is when I came out because the the bouncer <clears throat> kept pushing away from the door, and like could have easily killed him. It was double his yeah, size. Yeah, the bouncer was fucking huge. <laughs> half of, okay, so half of the group that had gone out, the the bar that they're at is on the corner of like an intersection, and the other half of the group went to the other bar that is on the opposite corner of the intersection. Yeah. So you have a straight like diagonal view from the window of the bar that I'm in to the outside of the bar that they're at. And we're watching the Mango <laughs> get kicked out saga and him continue to fight people in the street. Like, all this play out right. in the distance and watching, like, little Mango, like, fucking trying to push <laughs> yeah. the away on the yeah, sidewalk. It was, it was like Pulp and, Fiction. Yeah. And Mango was the briefcase. Yeah. <laughs> and everyone had their own storyline surrounding Mango. Yeah. It's all happening in silence from across the street. Like, right. you're just watching him in the distance. And we're all, we're all like kids, like, up against the window <laughs> watching it unfold. <laughs> And then some of us were like, well, we got to go over there. Like, we got to go see what's going on. Like, right. Why did he presumably has yeah. gotten kicked out because he's trying to fight people. Some, of you, were, anybody, some of you were saying, don't change the channel. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and we, we go across the street. I say hi to Mango. It's like, what's going on, man? He's like, well, let me fucking in. And uh, I look at the bouncer because I want to go inside and talk to Ludwig. And I give him my passport. And he's like, Another fucking yank. Like, like I'm, yeah. I'm about to do the same yeah, fucking you're, thing. You're just the I next mango, and he's like, not again, bro. <laughs> and I'm like, I don't know if you can see me, but I'm a lot thinner. Like, it's, you're not going to have any problems here. <laughs> you can, hey, he caught you the day before. You might have been a problem. Uh, yeah, but that you're was not a, a problem. All you do is smooch people. That's okay. Yeah, you get gay when you're drunk. <laughs> yeah. yeah, well. The problem, is, yeah. the problem is Ludwig gets gay back and then also tries to fight me. Yeah, he gets he gets mean gay. Yeah, <laughs> if you will. And I'm nice gay. Brezzo? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's a video. There's a video from the previous night that I'd forgotten about that you showed me of me tackling Ludwig in the private karaoke room we're at. Yeah, it's pretty good. I'll, I'll just send all these videos to Archie, and Archie can just like overlay them while we talk. Yeah. But yeah, there's one video of uh, Aiden tackling Ludwig and choking him. And then Ludwig's like faking like he kind of likes it. <laughs> and, and he's just like taking it. And then like, and then Aiden gets off of him. And then Ludwig just starts singing whatever song is being sung. Because we're at a karaoke bar. Which, by the way, this fucking karaoke bar. It was sketch. This was the moment I realized you were funny, by the way. This was the exact moment. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm kind of offended. It, man. it took you that long. Like, same thing with Did Carl. You, you said this to Carl. It was like, Carl, Carl was like, we had hung out the whole day. <laughs> <laughs> he's me pilled. I usually I no. have this I have this like strict barometer for like funny things and it's just like it, it, look, it just snaps. And I've I'm met like, YouTubers. <laughs> I've met YouTubers who make funny content and they're just not funny in real life. And you're like, oh, 
But this is when I realized you're both. Oh. So <laughs> we're, we're, I don't know what I did. So I'm kind of scared. So we're, 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 we're at this uh, karaoke bar with the very top of the staircase. It's like a fucking nine story building. And uh, we go to the top and there's this guy wearing a suit who's like sitting in the shadows on his phone. And, uh, in the shadows. And, uh, and we walk by and Chad kind of looks at him and like looks back at us and looks at him. And he, and he goes, do you have a quest? <laughs> <laughs> I just start laughing. So I hard. have no recollection. <laughs> of this. And the guy doesn't respond. I and think he, he was scared. And then he the turns to me and so he goes, big. do you see him too? And I look over like, I see him. And, he, and he's like, <laughs> he's like, does he have a quest for me? And I'm, I'm just laughing and I'm like, I got nothing for you. You Chad. said, you said I am a level 98 warrior. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and finally you, you, you kind of go, you know, you said, I'm going to touch him. And I, said, I, I, I grab you. I'm like, you're not going to touch him. And you're like, I got to touch him. And I'm like, this is a stranger. You're not going to touch no, him. No, you got to touch him. And then him. you turn to him one more time and you go, do you have a quest? <laughs> you say it again. He gets off his phone. He walks inside and he winks at you. And he says, <laughs> and he says, no, I didn't say that. Far. He says, my quest is completed now. Oh, that's right. Oh, he yeah, was ordering cards. And, and, then, and then he walked inside. You, you were him, stunned. Yeah. And you said, that guy just ordered coke. <laughs> that, that was the face of a, like a happy man, fucking twelve beers deep, about to get a bag from his dealer, and he's getting a drop off. That's why he walked back in because he knew it was coming to him. Oh, that's what you mean by ordering. Okay, yeah, yeah. He yeah. just yeah. He called it in. He, he, called called it in. he literally <laughs> called it. Yeah, three kill streak. Because <laughs> that place, you, the, everywhere in that karaoke bar was another funny thing. Was I knew exactly what type of place it was when we walked in. Every table was glass. I was like, yeah, people aren't coming up here to sing karaoke and yeah. drink. You know, okay. <laughs> Well, it was also the type of karaoke bar that took photos of all of our IDs. That's mm. standard in Sydney. Why? Uh, I'm going to end up on a fucking poster somewhere. I don't you know. lose a kidney next time you come. But it was, right. it was the same thing. We went to order drinks there, and usually a bottle of soju is like 8 to 10 bucks. It's still pretty expensive then. But we went up, and Scott was like, bottle of soju, and the guy behind the counter was, yeah, dollars. Like, in this weird accent. That, I don't know. It was Chinese, weird. but he sounded Russian. <laughs> and I was like, well, $38 for soju? He's like, yes. And he's like, because uh, they blacked out all the prices on their menu, so they can just charge whatever yeah, they want. Yeah, they're just like, it's whatever I feel yeah. like it is right That's now. funny, because they, yeah, they wrote the menus. <laughs> they could just not fucking have the shits yeah. <laughs> and just say numbers. Yeah, wasn't it $38 for a bottle of soju? I just said that. Are you oh. blacking in and out? Uh, or what's yeah. going on? He did. No, I thought, I thought you said bot, bot just. I didn't realize no, he specified, <laughs> specified Sorry, the he bottle. He promised us that he would black out every 10 minutes. <clears throat> yeah, so we can't yeah. be mad. I, I remember Scott getting around and it was $400 for just a couple of drinks or something. And then I went back and got one bottle of Grey Goose because I was like, well, fit, this will finish off the night. And, and some Long Island ICs. And the Long Island ICs were watered down. Like, you couldn't taste any alcohol. Yeah, it just tastes getting, like iced tea. was not getting drunk <laughs> off them. And the bottle of Grey Goose was like the smallest. Well, you know how there's like a standard bottle and then there's a really big bottle? Never in my life seen a small bottle. They gave you, yeah, they gave you the tiny ass bottle. Yeah. I, which I was confused by because I realized I'd never seen one either. Yeah. Also, the Long they, Island iced teas, because I, I was pretty fucked up. And I tasted it. And I was like, this doesn't taste like alcohol at all. And I was just like, maybe I'm just You look back at the bartender he's just like, <laughs> yeah Aiden Aiden leaned to me and he was like that one's not alcohol and it was the Long Island and I, I didn't drink it because I'm just like I don't fucking trust any of these losers sure. and uh, he's like that one's a mixer I'm like cool I'm not gonna drink that yeah and they put it all in clear <laughs> they put it all in clear cups so you know what you're drinking like chick clear drugs so you, before you you have to test taste it yeah. oh, that's I did, I did make a lot a of smelling that night yeah. yeah I did a lot of you did a lot of licking. <laughs> One of the nights. We you should did. delete that video, honestly. Dude, yeah, okay. <laughs> it's, it's too late. On the yard post. Smith before. Wait, is that, that's the one you posted? It's on him Twitter. The foot. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's also funny because it's, it's, it's completely out of context, right? Because we don't. We didn't also post the video that Ludwig had taken off his shoes and walked around the karaoke bar. Right. Well, that's what I was going to say. Can we give some context with how sticky that floor was uh, yeah, so, so we walked in and it's like a rubber floor that no, like, no, it, was no it was carpet which is what makes oh, it, it was more carpet. Yeah. i thought dude that's gross that i thought it was rubber because that just means it was sticky <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah it must have been the type of carpet that they have like at school it was like it was it carpet. was so yeah. really thin so we walked in and like it blew my mind because i'm like how the fuck even if you spill a soda on carpet how do you stick to it you have to. You need a lot of soda, <laughs> yeah, right? It has to be, yeah. it has really to be so more soda than carpet. <laughs> Down to the concrete, <laughs> a millimeter beneath it. And Lud takes his fucking shoes off for it, some reason. Everywhere we went, he's like, and the same thing. We went out the other night. He was just wearing Crocs, so he could just kick them off at bars and just walks around in his socks. <laughs> so he's walking around in this. This is a new thing. He doesn't do this at home. Really? No. Man, he's trying to blend in, in the locals. Yeah, hundred percent. He's he, Ludwig is just a guy, and I forget this a <laughs> lot. He's just sometimes he's just like oh, I'm a guy. 
and he just fucking lives like a like a weird little waste guy. He was such a he was such a happy bear this trip. He was a happy bear. Yeah, yeah. yeah. he was having a good time. He's exactly. walking around in the fucking in the Pepsi dimension on the carpet. <laughs> it's so funny. He was so pumped to be here because two months ago he was talking to us about how Australia seems like a boring trip. Yeah, yeah. he was so fucking fuck not off. pumped on coming here. And all yeah. of a sudden, he's like, oh, he there's YouTubers there. Which, oh, shit. which is good. I'm glad yeah. he changed his mind. Well, let's get back to it. He's walking around on this disgusting... I was hoping we wouldn't back Disgusting to karaoke <laughs> floor. Yeah, and, uh-huh. and Chad just fucking says, it's my turn. <laughs> yeah. and, and he looks over at me and he says, film this. No. I'm like, I'm like, I don't recall telling him to do that. <laughs> I'm, I'm, uh, trust me. You did did I? As the, sober, as the sober one in the room, you said, film this. Because I, I was filming a lot that night. So you knew I would be reputable. And so you, I pulled my phone out and then you just take a big lick. At one point, it looked like you wanted a bite, Wait, but you held, you held back. It's like an ice cream cone. You don't want to hurt your teeth. Yeah. <laughs> that, was that, that was feral. That was feral. That was feral. Meanwhile, cuties at home just like, how do I deal with this? She gets weirdly jealous when like other men like platonically smooch Ludwig or hug him or when he does that. He, she For some reason, she's like, what the? fuck is that why why are yeah, they there was, doing there was that? one time where she was like uh well how would you feel if i like kissed one of my girlfriends and Ludwig was like all right <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's so probably he, cheating on me and it's just a video of me licking his foot <laughs> yeah, I'm, 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 yeah, glad, yeah. I'm, I'm glad i was drunk because i i feel like if i remembered the taste i'd be really upset but um <laughs> it's visceral. i just can't i can't we can't, i can't fathom how sticky the floor was like it was carpet <laughs> and, every, and he it. was walking i, I i'm because i'm ashamed of it and it was also <laughs> my first time meeting max and uh he was pretty fucked up when i met him uh, and uh we're at the karaoke bar yeah, and this sounds right every right. single time the mic gets past to you you're, you'd never sing you're, yeah. you're just going Ah, <laughs> over and over oh, and over and I over. Yeah. I wanted to know: is this something that started before that no, night? It was. It was like the night before that started. I yeah. think. <laughs> so, but, what was the thought process? You just didn't want to. You just didn't want to sing. I was like making that sound. Yeah. But, okay. Yeah, that's great. Because this fall, I think I, I think I tried a bit more alcohol. I sang a little bit, but I still. I actually a couple think of those that you two would be really good friends. The, yeah, yeah. I think because we Anth- talked a little bit. That Anthony night. That also great. really likes making loud noises. I uh, do. So much so he moved out <laughs> because he wanted the ability to make loud noises at any time of day. Yeah, dude, I'll be <laughs> shitting in my bathroom alone, <laughs> alone in my house, and I'll just be like, "Wow, <laughs> all right." He has this bit where he screams in excruciating pain while he shits. So while we were in our Airbnb on this trip, <laughs> yeah, he's fucking. Fucking in her tiny ass bathroom. <laughs> you just hear a scream from down the yeah. hall. I mean, <laughs> you're like the boy who cries wolf at some point, though. You yeah. have a problem in there, no one will come and help you. No, they would. Because they, be, they still do. I, they can, I can still, differentiate. Okay. Because they're good enough friends that they'll come every time. <laughs> and I okay. believe that. Did you have to move out, though? Yes. If I, if okay. I, if this is, if I blow out my, my, if I pink sock myself in my own house, <laughs> I'm probably not going to make it. But that's the risk you take. But yeah, that's yeah. that's for, you know why I just want attention. I just want to re- remind my friends that I love um, yeah. them. Well, you're oh, still yeah. doing it alone. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe attention from God. Maybe, maybe attention. he's just reminding himself that he's still here. It could, dude, dead ass. Yeah. <laughs> I think it, I think I'm genuinely <laughs> like, like, like I see stuff. myself. <laughs> it's like when you look at yourself in the mirror and you're like, fuck, that's me. What the <laughs> fuck? Like every every couple months, this happens. I don't know if it happens, to you guys. But like it's kind of that. No, I do that I'm when I'm weird, drunk. But... I look at myself in the mirror. I go, "Oh yeah, you look good." <laughs> yeah, I think. I'm and then back. someone sends me a photo or video of me the next one. I'm like, I did not look good. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? No, you did because the way and all this. The last time I'll bring it up. The the way you licked that man's foot. <laughs> Stop. It just it, it was it was like there was free pussy in the, the center. Yeah, the, the, the confidence was unreal. And if like if I, I was like if I can do anything the way he's doing that, I'll I'm good to go. My favorite part of that video is it's kind of funny on its own where it starts, but then. When it pans to Ludwig's face, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, like he's the one that's disgusted. And, not that's, and you owned him. You won, right? You fucking beat him because he was I like, don't mm-hmm. think I everyone won anything. <laughs> everyone <laughs> won anything. <laughs> what was the prize? <laughs> uh, beating okay. Ludwig. Right, you know why? Because he, he, he's it's hard to find him in spots where he possesses shame. It's mm-hmm. really difficult. You can't 
You can't say Ludwig, you did this He's and made me feel bad. You Ludwig, you did this and you should feel bad. He's just like meep, he hit infinite money glitch and now he feels no shame. <laughs> <laughs> but that yeah. hit him where it hurts, and I'm proud of you for that. I needed that. So I'm thanks. glad. I'm glad. Everyone I who watched the guys. videos I took of that night looked at me and said, "You deserve an award." <laughs> because it paints every person in the story. Like every there's like there's like ten clips. I'll just put all of them in the, yeah, in the yeah. Patreon Discord. But uh there's I'm like ten need to review those first. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah we'll, we'll pass them through I you guys. guys. Yeah, yeah, you guys can just join the Patreon and review them. So <laughs> yeah. uh, and I'll review and I'll review Chad's There's like there's like bar. one and it's like Alexa and he's like singing misery business, and then it goes to Aiden and he's singing misery business. And it's like Alexa pointing it. I did a thing, and Alex and Alex is like yeah, finishing off the song. It was just like so that's my favorite painted. one. Yeah, yeah. You, he kept asking to watch it. Oh, yeah. I, I, haven't, it. I haven't seen it. Can I see it now? Yeah, yeah I'll show you now. I'm, I kind of want to see it's it just, now. It's just the embodiment of the night, I think. And the, <laughs> that's the great. Shape, yeah, it was it was the a real shit of, night until they, it was. We were all really <laughs> sad. We walked into this karaoke room, all empty, all sat down like a bunch of virgin <laughs> men in a circle. And I was like, "Yeah, we nerds. Like, what are we?" <laughs> What are we doing? And are then, we not men? Yeah. And then the alcohol arrived and we all went, yeah! <laughs> all right, here, here's the, the karaoke video. Once Haley Williams hits. <laughs> That's so cute. That is just dudes being dudes. That is great. Dudes yeah. rock. Oh, here's the and Haley Williams. One more. Uh, while, while we do this, Archie will just show it on the fucking pod. But this is the. Oh yeah. This is Love Again Top <laughs> for a different angle. Yeah. <laughs> a Aiden's just like mm, yes, please, yes. And then he gets back up. The fight's not over. <laughs> There's the sound effect. <laughs> What is that? Yeah, that's the thing. <laughs> you hear him in the background. Yeah, that's the sound. Yeah. Going, Aww. <laughs> the thing is, with, the thing is with the with the uh, it, it caught on. So by the end of the night, oh, yeah. like every time you started it, four people would join it. Yeah. But this carried to last night, where we're just sitting, we're sitting at the bar, and everybody's doing it. <laughs> 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 yeah, I, I like, I like that, that right at the very end you kind of catch yourself in this beautiful moment because like you have all the attention like a kid and you're like wait a minute what do I do with this and then you just yell again <laughs> and it's very it's very human what a great night yeah it was good I, I was a little worried because karaoke bars when you're sober are not as fun they're not they're not fun at all but it, but it ended up being pretty fun well, I, I, feel, I felt bad for you because you're the only one sober and I'm like yeah. and I'm like man you, you gotta deal with us right no, that was a good time because no one was so fucked that they couldn't like that they weren't fun. Oh, yeah. it's, it's so there's a level that's like drunk, annoying drunk, and then fucked, and that's when it's and then like right. mango, you know, crawling oh, around yeah. like a that slug. is that is that is like a free Netflix series. For <laughs> <our house. laughs> we had this great. bar. We we had this bar that stayed open for us. Like they closed at nine, but they just kept they just stayed open until like midnight for us because we were hanging out. And uh, this is where we gathered to tell the saga of mango. Whatever we knew. So like people would come <laughs> yeah, in. It was and be like, like lore around yeah, the campfire. No, actually, data points they had gathered from the night, but everybody yeah. had walked through like the like, same streets from the venue. So everybody had encountered Mango at a different point in their evening. So it was this collective, like collective story being told. You, I feel like you put the final pieces together by finding Kalen at 5 a.m. Yeah, 5 a.m. We met up at Wildman hours because I had to trade him his controller for a jacket that he gave me. And then he just told me like the the end. It was like the decoder of the entire night, like the little ring you get in the cereal box. But it, it was well the, at the table. It was like a, everyone was so loud. At one point, Scott was fucking playing the the what was it the the D's, the D's nuts, nuts song. song. <laughs> I think it's just the first result when you look up D's nuts on YouTube. It, was just, oh, okay. it wasn't even it, it was on Spotify, wasn't it? But he was he was playing like ten minutes. He's playing this song over the music of the bar. Yeah. <laughs> And then, it's because so, they gave so, us a Bluetooth speaker yeah, with they, one of the drinks. Well, you, well you were the reason you were why sending Alex to the <laughs> shadow realm. Like, the reason why we had this breaking drink. point. He's like, "Who is playing the music? Please turn it off. Please turn <laughs> yeah, it off." You would have killed yourself because it, basically, <laughs> yeah, at I don't some like point, a lot of noise. At some point, one of these two fucking jamokers goes, "Give me the gayest drink you have." No, he he ordered the gayest drink for me. And yeah, he said, "Give him yeah. the gayest drink you and have." And they come back with a drink that has a disco ball in it. The bartender looked at me when I said, "He's like, I got you." I was like, "What is he?" I got you. <laughs> it comes back. The drink has a disco ball. It comes with a light and a speaker. And it was just, it was a fucking party. Oh, and that's where and the like speaker came from. Machine. So yeah, while yeah, you yeah. drink it, while Max drinks it, he holds it all up around him. So you're like sipping out of the disco ball. As it rotates and lights up, 
the little Bluetooth speaker play music and smoke catching all the lights. Did we get videos as, of this drink? I think so. I have yeah. it. Yeah. 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 The, the drink menu, like in print, it just says in cursive, the gayest drink we have. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was confused because I didn't know you ordered it for me. I was like... What did I, you your birthday? I, I was like, what, am I being pranked? Or is, did I just order like a plain sounding drink and it just happens to look like that? Uh, yeah, so, but it's basically, it was so loud. There's two songs playing at once. Everyone's screaming. There's nothing you could say to, to quiet this table down. But the second someone said, I just saw Mango, everyone goes, oh, shh. Oh my god! And everyone, everyone listens. Yeah, who, who ran in and said that? It was me. Yeah, I can't oh, it was you. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I left my sweatshirt at the venue while we're at this bar. I'm like, I'll be right back. I have to walk across the street. Walk across the street. But before I get there, this guy, like I don't know, stops me in the street. He's like, "Hey, you know Mango, right?" I'm like, "Yeah." And he's like, "He needs help." And I'm like, "Oh no!" And I'm like, "And it's like, yeah." And like I see like the the four challenges or my quest pop up, and it's like, "Save Mango, find Lucky." And, I, and I'm like, "Ah oh, shit!" So, so I follow this guy, and he there's Mango and these fucking two minions with him who are just like talking to him, but Mango isn't responding. And I walk up and I bump him like, "Mango, let's get you home, bud. And we're gonna get you in an Uber." And all all he knows how to say, all his NPC dialogue is is coded to be is "Where's Lucky?" or "Where's Joey?" And I'm like, "I now I gotta find Joey." So I go find Joey. I bring him to Mango. The, the quest ends, and I come back. And when I tell everyone, I have more pieces of the, of the puzzle. Everyone quiets down. Everyone's so excited to hear. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it it's, it's like Morpheus is fighting Neo, and everyone just gets up. <laughs> fucking yeah. I had runs. left him before I met you guys at that bar. I had left him as he was leaning up against the window of the opposite bar. Uh, and people were fake pouring drinks into his mouth through the, the window. Glass, yeah. I saw people, I saw pictures of but that. People yeah. are actually pouring the <laughs> drinks out. Like onto yeah. onto the window, onto the table as he like yeah. licks the what window they, what from the other side. Sli- what are those ice slides at parties called where they goes down the ice and it goes into the mouth? Was it like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. Except, except you couldn't reach drink nothing. It. Yeah, because yeah. <laughs> he was just like an ape, like in an enclosure. It was like watching a dog. <laughs> there is, there is a, a not, I think there's a video as well with him banging on the yes, window. Yes, I saw that. She and then there's another that. one of him, I think, pressing his he bare ass against ass. the window. He he pressing him. It was like watching a dog lick a picture of a cat. <laughs> I saw a tweet the next morning that someone had just liked and I didn't follow them or anything. It just it just said, oh man, Melbourne wildlife is wilding or something like that. And it's just mango up on the fucking the mirror uh, yeah, smashing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, just yeah. Yeah. being a feral <laughs> being. Yeah. It was awesome. And he, <laughs> he was, he was he retweeting was, all of those as well yeah. right, the next day. Yeah, and, he, and it, the, the best thing is he can just stand up at the end and still be the fucking goat at the yeah. game. What does he say? That's what does he say the next day after his that behavior has happened? Do it again. Does he just like... He, that was cool. That was a good night. Like, I was fucking wasted. Like, he's, just like, he's like, yeah, I was pretty drunk. Uh, all right, well, fuck <laughs> Hbox and let's I mean, he's, a, he's pretty good at being a nuisance without inconvenience anyone else. It was, need, more, of a, it was like a more of a show for us than <clears throat> yeah. we had to look after him. Like, I knew right. we could take care of himself. So him running around with his ass on the screen was just fucking funny. Mm. <laughs> but <laughs> Yeah, it, it, he, only, he only truly becomes like uh, someone to watch out for if like you're Ludwig. Because he, <laughs> there's something, something in his DNA just wants to attack Ludwig and defeat him in physical combat, uh. but he can't. <laughs> Ludwig's stronger. He's always going to be more lucid. He's just going to choke him out. But like, I don't know. So if you're not Ludwig, Mango's fine. I remember someone saying like, "This is all your fault, Ludwig. <laughs> you shouldn't have beat him fucking at this. Like, <laughs> whenever time, like, this is why he has this rage for you, and he's just gonna keep coming for you." Yeah, it's real shit. Yeah, they they like they like to gamble large amounts of money versus each other when uh. they stream and play like Mario Kart and shit. I think. Right. I think Ludwig just kind of owns his house at this point and has a tab that's like this. No, it's the other way around now. It what turned happened? on them recently. Ludwig owes him like 9K or something like oh, that. Oh, shit. But wow. this, this changed. It all changed very recently. He still wow. hates him. That's a true hatred. <laughs> that's <laughs> he beautiful. still hates him. He's up. Well, maybe because Ludwig won't pay him out. He's always saying Ludwig hasn't paid me yet. It's because so. Mango doesn't pay. That's the yeah. problem. Yeah, that neither of these guys will pay each other and it just keeps bouncing back and like until the someone dies. Even, until someone dies. Mango like. won't even sign his W9 to get paid for tournaments. No, he won't. I've tried to send him his W9. I don't think he knows what it is still. So <laughs> I don't know what to do. He, we, he won. We held a, uh, an online Smash tournament back in COVID and Mango placed, I forget if he won it or he placed really, really high. But we owed him like eight grand because Ludwig put a bunch of money to like mm. make it something cool. And uh, I was like, okay, Mango, like, how do you want this money? And he's like, can you get, can you get it in cash and drive it to my house? <laughs> it's like eight grand. And I'm like, I guess. And then we just never did it. And then he lost it gambling. To Ludwig. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which is hype. I'm, I'm proud of him for, for just kind of being like, yeah, fuck it. I've noticed a reoccurring theme with everyone that we've met this weekend as we all really like gambling. 
And Lon- oh, yeah. Lonard concerned. It's just have you heard Ludwig's hundred dollar story? Hundred dollar no. story. It's, oh well, it was it was back when he didn't, back when we didn't had nothing before Ludwig was streamer doing YouTube or anything. Oh, uh, is this when he was double or nothing with someone and he was with him? It was it you and he's legit poor. He, he doubled legit. he doubled or nothing when his bank account hit zero. Ah. Yeah, and he didn't have the money to back up the bet. And he won. And he won because he hit a mashing mini game and I it, couldn't hang. It was pretty. Well, you know that you know that meme. Don't stop gambling. You know the one. Yeah, you, the you diamonds will win. Diamonds. Yeah, you will win. <laughs> <laughs> train wrecks. Anyone? Get it twisted. Oh, what w? We're big train wrecks watchers. Yeah, we all. Are. Yeah, we all are. Right? <laughs> what W? My God, it's like my the, legend. It's the fireplace. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and then yeah, fucking the trash boys showed up and we rolled around at like two a.m. I, I don't love know those boys. If you're even, there was this weird moment because. At, at the start of the night, it was like a group of 50 people. So we're like, oh, we need to disperse. We can't be running the streets with beers in our hand yeah. going. Oh. Chapos <laughs> kept saying, you guys, you guys don't know about trickling. We got to trickle. Trickle. He kept talking about trickling. Ah, so he had, a, he had a, a strategy. Yeah, yeah. Is that where you go place to place yeah, and yeah, lose where, a like, few people, drops at a time or what? People need to leave in small, small groups, small uh, segments. Oh, you can't right, just roll yeah. up to any fucking bar with it's just 40, civil engineering people. at that yeah. point, really. But was, just getting hammered. There was a point where Ludwig was like, I can't, I can't do this anymore. And he grabs Alex grabs him and goes, Follow me. And <laughs> Ludwig turns around and grabs Scott. It's just all who's in arm reach at this point. <laughs> and then we just start and we left you behind actually. Yeah. Because we couldn't reach you. Yeah. And we just fucking <laughs> bolted into Which, the back. By room. the way, uh, will I just say Mango uh, got thrown out of that bar as well yeah, uh, after yeah. you guys yeah. left. <laughs> Different bar. Yeah, we got. Yeah. We At all this point, gro- he's going for high scores. Yeah, Mango exactly. got thrown out of three bars. <laughs> that's pretty good. That's, that's, my, good, that's my yeah. goat. That's, bad. <laughs> that's my goat, dude. Yeah. I love Australians so fucking much because they're just like, like when we're all at Spice Alley or whatever it's called. Uh, there was a, there was a part where like like Chad just stood up and knocked over a beer, and everyone's heads turned simultaneously, and they instantly started chanting. <laughs> If snort. you spill it, you must snort it. If you spill and there was it. no beer in it, so I had to put beer out on the table and snort it. Yeah, yeah. yeah it was tight. I was, was like, good. how are they all just like fucking hardwired to hear that and it, do it? I, I, the same as I think happens with Zai on a smaller scale at the pub, and he just spilled it. Dom said it, and he's like, ugh, and then he did it. It's like, ah, the bubbles and shit. It, yeah. It's it's just no in one the, no one backed down either the whole night to any of these things. You can't. They just kept start. They just kept starting the happy birthday song for no one. It I was weird. wondering what the fuck that was. Was it anyone's birthday? I, no. no. I thought it was like one person's birthday and now it was a meme so we had to sing it for 10 I was talking people. to someone and I got interrupted for the f- like fourth or fifth time with a happy birthday song and I was like, <laughs> I, was like I guess it's plausible there's, there's enough of us. <laughs> the Australian melee scene has a bit where you, you target right, someone okay, and yeah. you, at the restaurant you just say, it's their birthday. Yeah, yeah I think that's kind of global. I think yeah, 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 But they'll do it just like in the street to people yeah, not okay, even just restaurants. Okay. Just like just all the time to like yeah. new people they meet. Yeah, uh, and then this time it wasn't even people. It was just starting the song. Yeah, and then we get to like "Happy Birthday, dear." And everyone's like, "Yeah." Uh. <laughs> Did you Aww. guys get to meet Josh? He was a tall. He's a tall guy. No, they didn't meet Josh. Hair. Josh. Cause, yeah. Oh, because Saturday he he yeah he went to the no no he was realm. there Saturday. But yeah, either way, if you met him, you would I think you would like. They came Sunday to the event. Charismatic. We we got pretty late to the event. We got the times wrong, and then I pulled. We went to like the anime convention, and it was just fucking. I don't know why we walked in because we couldn't get out. What was the anime convention like? It smelled really so bad. Expect. It actually just being pitched a bunch of sh- trinkets and garbage to be sold. Yeah, you pay you money. Pay money to go in and buy junk. Yeah, and then you see something you might like, and you pull it up on your phone on eBay, and it's cheap. And you're like, I just and that, like you're, I'm in another city as well. Like I just take that back with me on the plane. I'd rather buy it online. Yeah, and it's fine if you like it. Yeah. Or whatever. I think I mean, it's more the community of people like and the events and coming together. I was like, to, sure, I understand yeah, a bunch of stuff and panels, but and I, I just cool. couldn't. Because I hadn't been to a convention in like four or five years, so I just couldn't believe the fact that it was like, I, there was nothing cool there. There was like, there was no manga. There was nothing because it was, it was just like prints from artists, which is great. And then fake swords. No. There's so much shit. It's like, it's the worst of the worst. It's like you've got those pins that are like the acrylic shit fucking keychains that that takes up a whole store. And the next one's just like garbage posters. It's like there was nothing really. Of value in many of the stores. Are you guys into anime? Not much. I oh. am a little bit. I mean, I watch. What's your shit? Watch, I mean, I'm sure, I bet. I, I watch just like question. generic shit, like Attack on Titan. Okay. I pull up something. My uh, Hero Academia. Just pull up like random stuff on Crunchyroll. I watch that. I watch a lot of One Piece. Just okay, so you're kind of in there. Yeah I, yeah. I mean, some people like in it where they're like, "Have you heard of this super underground fucking three episode anime?" And then I'm like, no. "They just hit him in the throat and just <laughs> like, get on nah, with your I'm life." Good, man. 
<laughs> I, don't, I, I like anime because it's, it's pretty mindless for the most part. Yeah. yeah. Like, they, dude, we want, they were, uh, the guys were hammered last night. And when I met up with Kaylin, they were all like in bed nodding off. And we just watched like 30 minutes of Daily Dose straight, straight to the brain. <laughs> dude, that cha- his channel is so good. <laughs> it's just like, this is good. There's, sometimes there's animals. It's crazy. <laughs> is it Daily Dose that's on Twitter? It's like, he's just sitting there and he's just like really right winged. Is that? Daily Dose is the guy who just like takes popular internet clips and compiles them. Oh, this is your Daily Dose. Yes. Yeah. Them, I'm thinking yeah, he's, a, he's a sweetheart. I, you think it, I don't know. There's, like, someone, there's someone else that has like a community channel and like this really like sweet and innocent. And then you go to their Twitter and it's just like Trump supporter. Our white goose. Oh, Jordan Peterson. Is that who it is? <laughs> I don't know who that is. No. <laughs> no. You've been owned. Uh, <laughs> not on Twitter anymore though. Is yeah. he still off? I don't know. I, mean, I, know I don't follow it in hardcore but yeah. either, but it's like I did see those clips where he was like, "You woke liberals, hey, I'll cancel you all." He mic dropped, yeah. and he left. Dude, you put a beat over that; it's actually slightly hard. <laughs> 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 oh, I was gonna say something about fucking daily dose. I can't remember. Oh, I was gonna ask like, you're watching anime. Are you guys just fucking like at nighttime before bed watching stuff, or do you like what's your like day to day like with cold ones? Like, when are you watching shit? We only film once a week. Like, yeah, so. But it's all everything's done. I, I find the algorithm now with YouTube is so good that you just click on shit. I don't even have to be subscribed to half the stuff. It's, they know it's, you. It's very good at serving up like content based yeah. on what you've seen. But, Mine's um, just all like World of Warcraft and RuneScape videos. Like, yeah. I don't know. It's actually, I kind of ruined mine because I got really into chess when like chess got really popular on yeah. Twitch. And now my algorithm is just all chess videos. But, <laughs> but most of the time, I don't want to, like, in the middle of the day, I don't want to watch chess videos. It's but, the same, it's same with TikTok. You go on this. Craze of watching one thing on TikTok. My my big craze. TikTok was, has yeah, the, bro. Yeah, he, lo, slime is stuck in incel I, TikTok. No, right now. I, okay, I'm not an incel TikTok. <laughs> well, I, for some reason, tell the class what you saw. So I was so I I haven't used TikTok in a long time. I actually, the only time I used it was when I was in a relationship and my ex girlfriend liked like watching it, so I'd watch it as well, like send each other stuff. But I stopped using it for months and months and months. First time I fire it up, it's instantly. Breastfeeding Latinas. That is mine and naked women. It, well, I, I don't have the naked. <laughs> I just have very specifically breastfeeding Latinas, which is not like something I sought out or talk about in front of my phone. Mm. Or, I or so you think. The I algorithm can, knows you better than I you can fucking accept yourself. that they can listen to me. And then, th- so the other night, I'm watching TikToks when every I wake <laughs> up at like 2 a.m. and everything is passed. All the shit you guys were talking about, I was just asleep. Uh, my phone died and I, my alarm didn't go off. I want to sleep an hour. So I was like, oh, this is sad. So I'm watching TikToks and it's just like, it keeps bringing up shit where it's like five signs your girl is cheating on you. And it's like, <laughs> why women will always like never be trustworthy. I'm like, what the fuck is this? Like, I want to see Andrew Tate. Dogs. Andrew Tate. TikTok, I was going to say, yeah. maybe it's because we were talking about Andrew Tate maybe last that's week. that's why. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> I genuinely don't use this. I want to see like cute animals, monkeys, and like, Yes, breastfeeding Latinas. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Your TikTok timeline is fucking Andrew Tate popping off and then like Gibbon scratching himself. <laughs> yeah. and, and, I, and so I, I adjusted. I kept going like, I don't like this. I don't like this until it was, you know, there's this new trend where it's like girls in uh, like large oversized shirts. And then there's this sound. It's like a gunshot after a countdown. And then they just tighten their shirt. And their which boobies is, pop. Shows their boobies. Uh, and I'm like, them. well, this is good. You're saying, you know? this, you're, you're saying this is online? <laughs> Now this, this is on TikTok, so you can just what what would I do to I hate, find? That, that sounds, oh, wow. so you said that like TikTok. a boomer to you. It's like it's on TikTok. It's on TikTok. Yeah, you get the app. The app. So <laughs> from the app. That store. sounds quite nice. So that's what free. I was doing, man. And then uh, and then Kalen was like, you know, I'm on Wild Man hours. Meet me. Meet me at the train <laughs> station. And I like dressed up like a ninja, like we we're dealing coke. But I just gave him his video game controller. So. <laughs> the cops are sitting there watching from a distance. Gentlemen, like, here's the drop off. What's up? I need doing? to piss. My dick is hurting. Hey, I've no, been holding no, it for that's a while. Okay. No, we're, you go. We'll talk okay. about you while you go. Yeah, It'll be good. excellent. How big Should I go out there? How, what's he packing? How big? Oh, no, he's really, you, got, you got some stuff? Yeah, it's massive. What about yourself? There's like a you know how like the old prank is if you got your mate's phone you you manage to unlock it and you go to like their Facebook and type I'm gay or something like that or go on that t- yeah, yeah yeah my new prank is I go on their TikTok and I like all the fucked up shit yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ruin their, that's, that's, so I've ruined their that's algorithm. fucking twisted yeah 
It's like it's like uh, signing your friend up for like Scientology literature or something. Yeah, it's exactly taking their thing. phone number and putting them on and every have, fucking. And the only way they can fix that algorithm is by scrolling through all the shit until they like the stuff that they want again to fix it. So they oh, have, <laughs> so they have to look at it. All it the lasts. evil evil Russian sinkhole content. <laughs> <laughs> it's so fucked because it's it's literally just hours in and hours out. Like the amount of time it spends it takes to do it to them is the same amount of time it takes to reverse it. Yep. So it's just like you have to also endure. I, I, that's whatever. okay because I got the pleasure of I, I was willing to do it like for the bit. <laughs> they, <laughs> yeah, they, sure. they have to do it to fix it, you know. Yeah, so. there's a payoff for you. Yeah. <laughs> I have the satisfaction is there. The honest the satisfaction is there. Where were you all weekend? I didn't see you just sleeping. Yeah, it was like so that night I, I accidentally slept through everything. I didn't want to. Usually I'm I'm not too social. I get like uh, the joke is that I don't like planned group activities. You know, nothing was planned. So that's true, but also just choosing to exist is often a plan. So, <laughs> you know, <It's> God's plan. <laughs> Drake. So I don't know, but I, I was kind of here and there. I was I was hanging out with like the other squads as well because um, I don't see those guys often. Uh, but I what I like here, and I often get criticized for romanticizing Australians. Like, oh, Slime just thinks they're all fucking perfectly funny angels, you know. But I, what I realized is that that particular group is just funny. And it's not about their accents. They're just talented, the boys. They are extremely funny. And I think that's I, cool. The more I learned about Mungo this weekend, the more I was just like... Get out and game. Dude, when we were in Spice Alley, I got a new Mungo pitch. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I got a new Mungo pitch. And he, uh, he was chatting with somebody, and then he looked over at me. He's like, I, I got a big one, Aiden. <laughs> it's like, beyond blue for gamers. And I'm, <laughs> hey, you're going to have to explain to me what yeah, beyond yeah. blue is. So, I know, and I'm standing there, and I'm like... <laughs> What is Beyond Blue? He's like, okay. it's our suicide hotline. <laughs> <laughs> An ironic suicide hotline. Yeah. And he's like, if you're having rage issues, LP issues, you just give, you'd give them a call. I'm sorry, but how does it, like a gamer suicide hotline differentiate from like a regular suicide? Hotline? <laughs> yeah, I was thinking, because I was like, because when you're you like, just yeah, call the normal one. He's like, no, no, these people would understand. Yeah, because you, you tell them that your top lane was inting, and they're like, oh, tell me about it. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. yeah Bloody luck, Melfat. Mm. <laughs> you guys <laughs> into an AP. Mm. You guys met Miles. Miles has a YouTube series he just started called Sprinter Views. It's so where, genius. Where he plays League of Legends, and uh, whenever he gets flamed in chat, he just posts a discord link it says join our pussy <laughs> and then these people join the voice call and they just talk it out and he's like alright so you're flaming me like what's up you want to watch the VOD together and they, and they watch the game together and he points out like you know you said I was doing this but I wasn't doing that like what do you think now and he just he literally just straight up interviews these people and it's so good that it's sounds crazy. great because I know the exact league player would just like even if it's right in front of me like no, nah, no, nah, man. Like, no, no, no. That's not how it works, bro. Like, I, I, my TP was on cooldown. Yeah. It, didn't, it didn't say it was on, uh, it's a glitch in the VOD. <laughs> the VOD's glitching. The client's <laughs> fucked. Yeah. I don't know. It's in, fucked, in, one of his, <laughs> in one of his interviews, like, he invites all the guy's friends in the call, too. And they're all, all his friends are roasting him. <laughs> <That's> so, <laughs> so like, all, all his friends are just like, yeah, he fucking runs down mid every single fucking game. Blah, blah, blah. And he's just like in the corner. Like, and Miles I can't is do like, anything. It's as if he's a therapist, like, mm, and tell me about how, when he runs it down. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> What's this channel called? I need a sub. I'm, I'm too invested. It's, now. Yeah, just I, I think Sprint Reviews will bring yeah, it up. Yeah, you're having Sprint Reviews. It's really, really small. Uh, we're trying to get him to refine it. Because <laughs> right now it's just like a fucking two hour video. I'm willing to commit to that. <laughs> <laughs> how, how was it? Did you have a good one? It was long. Feel good? Was that, was that long to you guys? No, that was short. Short, really short. Okay. I was a little, felt like a lot of liquid. I, I have a question. Yeah. What is this fucking light you guys brought in? Oh, uh, yeah. That stick. Oh, okay. Oh, um, that's the light side. Okay. Can you pull it out? Can you get I'll out? get it. Yeah, I'm really nest. <laughs> you, you, I'm had nest. A, you had a big, big uh, weekend. I'm, I'm on the... Ver I, this morning, I literally woke up. I was like, this is where I choke on my vomit and die. So. <laughs> oh, shit. This is my prized possession now. So the other night when you all disappeared, I don't know what happened, but everyone... <laughs> I sat down with Joey. Joey, Scott, and I all sat down. I had one, one last beer. We'll stood up. Everyone was gone. I was like, all right, that's home time. Scott, I go, Scott, how far till we get home? He's like, we'll get an Uber. We get in this Uber. I'm like, we're going we're beeline it straight to the hotel. Stops at Macca's. I don't know why I stopped at Macca's. The Macca's we stop at isn't the right spot. We have to now walk to Macca's. And as we're walking to Macca's, I'm saying, Scott, Scott, I really want one of these. I want one of these. I want one of these. And I'm drunk. I'm like, can I have it? Can I have it? Can I have it? Sold it to me for a hundred bucks. Oh, the guy at 
McDonald's had that. No, they were construction workers. Oh, no oh, way. Yeah, yeah. You just skipped that part. I yeah, think. They were, sorry, they were construction yeah. workers, and I was like abusing them, going, Can I have one? Can I have one? And then finally, some guy came for 100 bucks and wow. gave it to me. That was less than it took to keep mango inside of a building. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, it gets better. I'm now running down the street pretending I'm a construction worker. <laughs> <laughs> I'm drunk and I got McDonald's in my hand. We're running into the 7 Eleven to get a Gatorade before we go back to the hotel to sober up. And before we did that, I was also running because a guy pulled up in a cement truck next to me. It was some big truck. I don't know what it was. Too drunk. And he goes, Where'd you get that from, mate? And I'm like, Ah, and I ran. I just fucking, I just fucking <laughs> ran. And this cunt, I shit you not, followed us four blocks in a cement truck. Part of, but like, I didn't see where, I, I don't know how we knew where I'm we gonna were. I'm going to bury in the sidewalk. He wanted, he wanted it back. He wanted it back. <laughs> and Scott's scary when he's drunk. He has this weird eye. And he, we get, we get <laughs> together at 7 eye. <laughs> and, he, and this construction worker who was a manly, he's like 5'5", five, five, walks in in his high vis shirt and his hard hat and looks at me and goes, I'll get that back now, mate. <laughs> and I go, and I'm a fucking white knuckle on this. I'm like, no, I paid $100. <laughs> and, he's, and he's about to ask for it again. And Scott turns to me and goes, he paid for it fair and square. <laughs> <laughs> Without a second word, the guy just fucking 180 to the left. It's got scared the shit out of him. Wow, well done. That's well defended. <laughs> That's huge. Yeah, we, uh, we just met Scott for the first time, uh, like, a couple nights ago. And uh, I was trying to tell someone else, like, oh, did you meet Scott? And they're like, which one's he? And I was trying to figure out how to describe him. Because at the time, I didn't really know much about him. And I was like, just imagine if the camera in that 70s show just panned to a fifth person. <laughs> <laughs> and Scott <laughs> that's pretty much it <laughs> there, was, there was this moment when we were at the bar last night I, so I, I was looking at the sweater you were wearing and the back of your phone case and they like matched up they said cool on them and I, I thought they looked really nice. And hey, I was hey, like, you don't name that company. Hey, what, what do you got for us? <laughs> hold on, hold on. <laughs> what have you got for me? What have you got for me? Hey, what have you got for me? Fat Tino never give a free promotion. <laughs> Are you Jamaican? I don't know. Fat Tino, Fat Tino has become Jamaican. Yeah, Fat Tino has <laughs> become uh, Jamaican. I, and I looked at them. I just thought they looked really nice. I'm like, that, that's cool. They match up. Like, that, they look nice. Do you own it? And you were just like, yeah. Like, I was like, they look really cool, dude. And you were just like, they, like, you, you were not receptive. I think you were like weirded out that I was pointing it out or something. And then I realized today, talking to Nick <laughs> separately, that Cool Shirts, a brand that I knew existed, was that same brand. <laughs> and he was just looking like you were fucking stupid. Yeah, yeah. Like, I'm fucking. The, you were I'm stupid. an idiot for just like, oh, they match. Like it, it's crazy that you have both of those. It's a, well, dude, Rowan. I was actually so silently mad at Eamon earlier. So Rowan is the guy who set up right with Rowie. the hat. Rowie. See, you just you're blowing this anecdote by getting his name. Wait, wrong is it Rowan gate. or Rowie? <laughs> Rowie. Is your real name Rowan? Rowan Bain. That's Aaron. Yeah, he's, what the fuck is I think, this I think shit? it's because we call him Rowan. Okay, well, either, okay, Roman. Rowan. Rowan. either way, Rowie. he introduces his name, Roman. and I and I hear it, obviously, incorrectly, and I'm like, okay, cool. And then Aiden's like, what's your name? And he says it, and he's like, what? And he says it again, he's like, oh. And as if, as if to, like, cover up the fact that he had to listen twice, he's like, oh, this, so it's like... So it's like Ro, like he had to have a conversation. <laughs> <laughs> I, so it's like Ro, and he's like, yeah, like row a boat. He's like, oh. This is my okay. excuse. This is my excuse. My ears still have not popped since we got is off that the plane. I give you. I give you. I've been talking that. about this all day. Yeah, I'm, and I'm pretty fucking annoyed about it. I don't know why. I've never had it last this long. I'll before. pop your ears for you, baby. Come over here. Let me get in there. You want to just blow in one? Let me get in. Yeah. I'll, uh, did anybody more. witness the brain hong this no, weekend? Is it real? I, I actually refuse did to it. believe. Yeah, the, our friends were telling. Yo, know, Kalen. Kalen was telling us that he possesses the ability to smoke through his ears. Yeah, so he'll take the hong, <laughs> put okay. it in his ear. <laughs> Or whatever, and then blow it out. <laughs> and he calls it the brain, the brain hong. That's not real. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's that's what that's, 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 that's not real. Hundred percent. But, but they all band together. They all band together. And they all swear it's real. I've talked to many it. people who have but, said, "Oh, I've seen it." But the problem, but the problem is that they, they, if they want to fuck with you collectively, they will do it. And I'm scared to trust them. Yeah, it's just like the uh, what do you call it? Drop bears. Yeah. It's their drop bears. It's their uh, brain hong. So who knows? Do you guys hate Sydney? Um, I haven't been there in five <laughs> the years. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yes, yes, I okay. do now. Well, it's just because, so you live here in Melbourne, right? Yeah, yeah. Are you from Melbourne? I'm from WA. I'm from Queensland. Perth. From Perth? 
well, I looked at a map earlier. It was up there, a map no, of Australia. Perth? Isn't it to the it's no, west. Perth is far west. Oh, it's the west. So, it's at the farthest west you can go, right? So when you, co- when you go to city Sydney, in the world. you're like, this is the fucking, this is, these are savage idiots in this town, right? That's how you feel? Or is it not yeah, like Yeah, they just that? got, got fired. You know, no, Sydney, sorry. It was nice. It's I, nice, I yeah. liked it. Oh, yeah. awesome. I feel like we had, don't go anywhere enough to really have a real opinion I was surprised it. by this. Like, when I met Chad, like a bunch of people came up to him were so surprised to like meet him out in public. And I'm like, I just kind of assume you, you run into people all the time and you're kind of like well, a guy. I, right? and I, I do, but... The, but your response was like, we don't ever go out. I mean, I don't go out. I go to the same four bars. I never explore. But when I travel, it's... I go to like a, a mountain in Colorado or something like some shit like that. <laughs> so it's even funny when you're in a small remote town with like a population of 400 skiers. I'm like, what are you doing? I'm like, what do you think I'm doing? I'm in a ski. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know. I just I just tell people that. But have you gone to Colorado? Huh? Did you go to Colorado? Yeah, I did go Where'd to Colorado. You go? Um, Where'd I you couldn't up? tell you exactly where it was. You don't remember? No, we went to Aspen. It was like a four hour drive from Aspen. We went to Aspen shopping, but we were just up in hot springs. So we bought the Glenwood Canned Springs. Air. Yeah. Was it Glenwood Springs, Colorado? It, no, it was like it was like a Christmas Steamboat land. Springs? They had like a Christmas land there or something. Interesting. Snow land, snow time, snow. No mess is where you went. Do you guys was, know about yeah. canned air? Boost yeah, oxygen. like for cleaning out dust. It boosts oxygen. <laughs> no, like, no, <laughs> no. Wait, like, wait, like well, you're from, you're, from, you're from Colorado. From Colorado. So do you, you grew up skiing in the snow. Did you? I did when did I was a little kid. Yeah. Okay. So is it true that up there you know how they got the canned oxygen? Did they have it when you were younger like, for the altitude sickness at all? You're talking about Ready Whip, mm. and I only did that when I was a teenager. Okay, that's a drug. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> is this like names? I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, all right. Yeah, it's pretty new. We're just in new wave technology that understands. Is this it, it picture the scam that is bottled water and then no air? <laughs> no Wait, way. This is, this is like a bit in the Lorax. It's real. <laughs> it's real is, and it's worth millions. No. And you go to these ski towns in Colorado now and it's like a tourist trap because you, you get sick. You go, you go up the high altitude. Yeah. You can't be waking up feeling fuzzy a little bit. Like, just get some canned air. Like, they don't tell you that, but it's everywhere. So you go, oh, I'm going to try it. Doesn't do anything. The locals see you with they go, you fucking idiot. Wow. Yeah, this scam the- didn't exist when I lived there. Yeah. We well, just decriminalized weed when I was there. Well, now it's, <laughs> now it's like the, it's marketed to athletes and stuff like that now as well. Where oh. it, to the point where it's like people see it, you see it, you want to try it. It's like a no- I, I want to try it right now. Try yeah. it. I'm do like, have it any, tastes do like we have it doesn't feel like anything is happening. It's like those booths it's in the mall nothing. where you can like hook up to like the nose thing and auction you bars. in auction oh, bars right, like that yeah. shit. Well, I that believe that. That though. doesn't do anything either. Because that just goes in your nose. It has to do something. Nah, it doesn't do anything. Bro, the auction's already going in your nose right yeah. now. You're live. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Don't, don't so, jack at him. When I was uh, a little bit younger when I started drinking when I was 18 or 19 everyone was said the oxygen bars cure the hangovers and they take you on an oxygen bar. It's really expensive and you have flavored oxygen. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's bullshit. I just left feeling sicker. I, <laughs> I feel like the taste was menthol down my throat. I was like, can I have one of those? Well, the, that's the thing as well. The, the canned air has a range of flavors like their vapes. They've all, all got different I would, flavors. I would hope right. so at least, right? Well, yeah. Well, if it, otherwise, like if you get like an original can with no flavor, it's like even less flavorless like air. I bet there's exactly. some weirdos <laughs> selling bottled value. <laughs> there's some like weird, weird like tourists who's like, yeah, I only like the original canned air. Like, I don't <laughs> Oh, I don't stuff. like the flavor stuff. Yeah, yeah, that's crazy. It also makes you cough because you're shooting cold air down your throat. <laughs> <laughs> it just sucks. Yeah, it's, it fucking does suck. I, I'd like to see an argument for it because all I've heard is arguments against it. Like I would like to, I would love for someone to say, "Oh no, it actually works like really well. I take it all the time." Yeah, Whatever. but he'd be paid by Big Air. Yeah, you yeah. Know? yeah. <laughs> Wait, laugh, laugh that guy, now. That guy five also more takes years. Really sick jumps. Yeah, the, the, the Air Jordan canned air. <laughs> no, that'd yeah. be tight as fuck. But Aiden was actually we were talking about skiing earlier, and Aiden apparently it's called a, a yard sale when you fucking wipe out real hard on the mountain. Because all your shit flies everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> you wipe out so hard, you would lose every piece of equipment that is on you. Yeah. That's awesome. It just becomes yeah. a yard sale. Sonic and losing all his rings. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I thought it was like dying in Fortnite. We, we were on the same page. <laughs> all roads lead to a gamer. Which brings us back to the game of suicide hotline. Man, yeah. I, I feel like just Sonic right now. I've lost all my rings. So I'm looking for more. Dude, mm. I understand. Imagine being on the other end of a suicide hotline. They're like, I just, you know... You ever feel like Sonic after you lose your rings? <laughs> I'm, I'm like, 
I'd be like, <laughs> no. I'd be, like, I'd, be the one, I'd be the one person at the call center who'd be like, thank God they got me. <laughs> you, you would be, you, I think that's actually your calling. Suicide hotline, because you'd be like, well, where are you from? And like, you'd be genuinely interested. I'm sure you have to be a yeah, certain Yeah, I can go person. work for Mungo when this comes together. Yeah, I like could. the idea of this example that like, if they called you, you wouldn't be interested. I mean, I'm just saying. <laughs> you'd be it, like, no, it would yeah, be fuck like, off, It would be loser. like the advice show. You, they'd get on the, the advice phone, show, they'd I'm get so, on the phone, so, and Anthony on. would be like, let me, what a stupid fucking let question. Let me say so mad, an bro. advice show in our Patreon. It's me and Aiden. It's like it's our own mm-hmm. special show. It's only in the Patreon. Only audio. A- only audio. And uh, Aiden is in charge of picking the questions. Okay. That's all he has to fucking do. And every fucking week, he does the same shit where he goes, all right, go through the questions. All right, question one. Both my parents killed themselves in a burning house of fire. Uh, and I lost both my legs in a war I was drafted to because I'm poor. Um, I lo- love your podcast. Love what you guys do. What do you think I should do in this situation? Sli- slime bald XOXO. And then he, re- and then he goes... Yeah, I don't think I'm qualified to answer this. Nick, what do you say? <laughs> <laughs> fucking every week. And every time I have to... Last time, last week we did this, I was wearing a fucking Batman mask while we were filming while someone told us about their trauma. And, and Aiden is laughing his ass off reading the question because I'm Batman. He's fucking, dude, I'm like reading through the most traumatic experience and he's... He's Batman, but he's like shaking his head. <laughs> At this point, I feel bad about wearing the Batman mask. But you didn't take it off. Well, I can't show my identity. (laughs) (laughs) Well, I wouldn't be Batman in that world, would I? Uh, Yeah. Well, so on this show, sometimes I'll have to sub in because Aiden's like fucking off, like, you know, doing whatever he does. And, church store. Or you're fucking off at a church store. I was going to say, what about when he fucks <laughs> off? And I, I have a short temper, and I'm older, and I think that all problems can be solved by communication, so I'll read the question and be just enraged. <laughs> like, yeah. this, like, why are you asking me this question? A lot of people write in, and pretty much the answer for 80% of them is, like, just talk to them. Yeah. It's like, they clearly haven't spoken to the person they have the problem with. So, like, do that. For the, for uh, the, do you guys... Sorry, do you guys like sit down? Those are real questions taken like, from people. Yeah. 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 I'm too afraid of fucking like confronting people about that because I'm not trained. What if I say something stupid and they actually kill themselves? <laughs> it's, well, okay, hold on. I'm sorry to make it dark. No, 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 no that's no, no. usually not a problem. Most of our prompts are like, like, there's a girl at my work I really like, but it's a worker. I don't want to ask one at work. What do I do? It's like, okay. like that kind yeah. of yeah. 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 The majority stickers. of the questions do Unless not- Aiden's in charge and he fucking picks the crazy ones. He picks the crazy ones, but then just gives it to you, which is crazy. Like, <laughs> yeah, at least think get, about he's it. He's trying to get you in trouble. Like. <laughs> I, I try to get at least one question a week that's kind of like Manchester by the sea. Also, a lot of times, <laughs> a lot of times we have like a question that we don't know the answer to and we'll like call in a celeb guest. Like, like we'll bring, we'll bring on like a woman. But it's like something we just can't answer. It was like, yeah. it, was, it was like a question that like only really a woman's yeah. perspective could answer. Or like. <laughs> We got a he question downs, about he yelling down says, Kitty. Yeah. <laughs> what do you what do you guys do for your for your Patreon stuff at the moment? Because you obviously Chaz you're releasing asshole, balls, and cock and balls. Cock and ball molds. <laughs> yes, sir. No, ask, we, ask him. Well, I mean, our videos are formatted with alcohol and mixed into it. So there is a lot of stuff that can go on for 30 minutes that we film where we go, we cannot leave that in. <laughs> it's most, yeah, mostly just extended cuts of things. Yeah, so oh, okay. We're like okay. the Patreon. The main cut is usually like fifty minutes. The Patreon is like three hours. There's just we like feeling like the the main channel has high effort stuff that we've really made sure is like a great video that we. It's, yeah. It's so much extra footage otherwise. But yeah, when you when you when you got into YouTube, did you, did you have like an end goal? Like I'm gonna start doing this, but I want to eventually do this. Or were you just kind of like, I kind of just be like, what's going on now? I'll do that. And then that leads to this and that. I don't really think very far ahead of that. At this point, do you think at all, like a next step, like anything you want to do? No. (laughs) (laughs) I mean, it's working. Like you have this studio, right? What? Yeah. So it's some sort of plan. It's more about just building the brand and building cold ones. I don't think we're thinking of going to. So you're you're pretty invested in like cold ones itself. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, For sure. I would eventually like to. Pass the torch for cold ones, like your son. No, I'm not having a son. Your kiddo? No, I'm not. You don't want to? No. (laughs) And if I do, he ain't being a YouTuber. Uh, (laughs) I'm sending him to school. Too too miserable. (laughs) Fucking doctor. No, I want. I want to like get one more person in and like slowly because I don't. You want to delegate all of your? I don't want to drink. I I, believe it or not, I love drinking, but I hate the repercussions, and I do not want to keep drinking. 
for another 10 years. I want to get someone else in to do the drinking. Taper I, off. Yeah. Celebrity drinker. Yeah. You could well, just have that. How about you guys had just have like a mute celebrity? <laughs> just you just get fucked up. No, and they look just, mean. Like, what do you mean? No, they just give it to someone else. They look just like Markiplier, right? Okay. And it's just a person that listening. sits here, <laughs> <laughs> and they don't say anything ever. And instead of drinking, you just pass it off to them without even looking, and mm. they just they just slam it back, and then you just continue doing your content as normal. You, yeah, you, but here's the thing. It sounds like a weird adult swim thing yeah. or something. <laughs> yeah. I get really carried away, but like, let's see, let's push its limits. Yeah. <laughs> and then I got a dead body in the studio. Sure, like, yeah. yeah. And it's like Markiplier. It's like, oh shit, we got to get rid of it. No, we're just, we're just out doing it for fun. We're having fun. Uh, but yeah, I do want to get someone else involved. Any, anyone auditions coming in? I want, I want to get someone to do like better, because I suck at interviewing people. And I, I personally don't think I'm very good at the talk show. I'd like to get someone else in to do that. And this is the first time hearing of this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just an idea on the top of my head. Maybe I'll go back What do you mean later. you're not very good? You just don't. You just I choose always... not to read anything about the person or watch any of their videos. Yeah. I, well, I guess someone else in, man. I guess someone else. Uh, I don't besides, know. you are good at it. You don't. Yeah. I want to do other things. Like, I don't, I don't. It's not that I hate it. I just, yeah. I, I do so much other stuff. Chad, that... what's your passion? No, I'm, I'm, I'm gardening, gardening, I'm gardening, <gasps> gardening. Like growing garden. veggies? Yeah. yeah. I can or is, tell, it, I is it like I weed? Is this like a weed? Wait, tell me. I want to hear about this. I want to hear about this shit. A little, I want to I wanna start a channel where I talk about economical, like economically efficient farming methods, like vertical growing. And I want to be one of those farm YouTubers that like day in the life, off grid, fully sustainable farm. Cutting wood. Yeah. Shit like vlogging on his farm. Yeah, but I want to I have it on the scale where I have someone on the farm that does all the grunt work and I and I just wake up and pretend I did it and then I get back to <laughs> yeah. you. You need a drinking guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, Labor. Yeah. And I also want a brewery as well. I really want to have like my own brewery and my own like alcohol line. And, but, this, but you uh, also want someone who runs the brewery and shit. Well, no, I will do, I will figure it all out myself but I want to be able to give it to someone afterwards and be like, I've set it up. You take care of it. You know, that's, that's like any business, right? Like, We're talking about opening a bar idea. maybe at some point. Yeah, like a, a bar. Cold, cold, I think bar. that would fucking yeah. cold one's yeah, bar. Yeah, Bar is also the dream. I, I also want to retire and work behind a bar because like, that just seems funny to me. It, it I is. I yeah. know, it's just funny I to me. I think anyone's image of themselves just like, you know, polishing a bar top, <laughs> you know, uh, 10 years into the future, it's, it's very comforting. Yeah. Mm. I, want, I want a place where people can come and be comfortable. And I, I, I like, I mean, I think I share that off a little bit in Melbourne. I like facilitating and taking care of everyone. I really want to do that with a bar for people. And I want to be able to have people that we've met over the years come overseas and have a place to stay and have a place to drink at and have like a safe That's, I want to have some safe spaces. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Would you let Mango in your bar? Yeah, uh, because that'd be a good show. And I'd, I'd have a cage for him. I'd have a cage for him ready. <laughs> the mango cage. He's a go-go mango dancer. Go. Yeah, yeah. But instead he's just drinking yeah, and getting yeah. agitated. Yeah. And he's he's like I, was, I, was, yeah. I think we'd preemptively put up like a cartoon poster, wanted poster out the front for Mango. I that'd be really be funny. Do not serve this man. <laughs> <laughs> or serve this man double. <laughs> <laughs> and the show will get started very soon. We're going to have double security working that night. And yeah. <laughs> but, but you make sure all your uh, bouncer guys that night look like Ludwig. So, so he's like in a, he's like in a hall of mirrors, and he's <laughs> punching Ludwig security guys. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah I feel like when I when I started watching you guys, you guys had this like mega group where it was just like all these different people. And I'm sure this is shit that you guys get asked in every fucking interview. But I'm so curious, like the sort of progression of like meeting them, making stuff together, like you, like Idubs, Joji, like all them, mm. and then like. It seems like that has all sort of gone separate directions. It seems, yeah. Seeming for like good reasons, but yeah. Can I just say, we don't do interviews ever, so it, it, no question that you ask really, I've never really answered. Oh well, okay. I, well, I would love to talk about that. Yeah, that'd yeah. be cool. If it's not like weird. Yeah, no, of course. Could we edit our podcast. So. Yeah. So what? Like, where you do you want to start? You didn't like, quite what? ask a question. Yeah. yeah, so, yeah. so let me let me get detailed. Um, how did that group form, and uh, why did it ultimately? Like somewhat part ways, not necessarily as friends, but like content wise. Right. Um, who was the first person? George. No, he had a basic. Oh, okay. Yeah. So he had a basic. He was with you guys? Yeah. So I didn't know that. So Anthony knows nothing, by the way. Right? No, I know how to basic. Though. No, no. I know you know that, but, but you don't know that they know I don't each know other. Any context yeah, yeah. or anything. Yeah. So um, how to, because I used to do prank calls on YouTube. It was like the one thing that I did back in the day. Um, and he did how to basic stuff. Same sort of stuff. And um, 
pranking, prank calling himself. And Bro, when he pulls the salmon out of the toilet, I, <laughs> I, I still think about that. It was crazy. <laughs> He anyway. pulls the what out of the toilet? And he salmon. like no, it's not a sand, salmon. It's like, oh, it's like a yeah. raw fish. Yeah, and it's like yeah. how to make fish. And he runs and he like pitter patters over to a toilet, <laughs> and it's just ice in the bowl, and there's a fish, and he just grabs <laughs> it out of it. I think that I think how to basic is actually the channel that slime wishes he had. Oh yeah, the content you wish you. How to basic is the funniest person we know. So great. Yeah. Anyway, sorry. One more. Yeah. I think my favorite from him, by the way, is like I think it's like how to make something or how to make stew or whatever, and the video's like an hour long. Because this dude uh, takes an hour to make. It's like how to make hour stew or whatever. That's and like just, his go-to April Fool's Day thing every year. Yeah, it just it's literally, like, you're watching the pot for an hour-long YouTube video. <laughs> and he's he normally, and he comes back. He needs to get some different content for that. <laughs> every every year, it's just, oh, it's it's going to be a long video instead of a, a short video. Yeah, but that's good for him because he just puts a yeah, million ads Yeah, I think that's why he does it. Yeah. Yeah. He kicks his feet up. Yeah, kicks his feet up, puts some, the, a million ads in and Oh, so someone leaves it open. Yes. Yeah, so, so there wasn't a whole lot of uh, people. I didn't. I feel like I didn't have a lot of peers on YouTube within Australia. So anyone who I saw that was doing stuff and doing it well, I would try to contact. Whatever. So I got in um, contact with him, and I was like, "Do you want to do a video together?" And then I didn't realize how young he was because he was in school at the time that his channel was blowing up, and I was an adult man. <laughs> this poses is, an immediate problem. Not not, not that big of a, of a difference. Hey, would you like to make a video with me? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah well, that, so that's what it sounded like to his parents. He asked his parents, he's like, hey, uh, I like your son a lot. <laughs> yeah, <he's, laughs> I'd like to make a video with your son. Yeah, he asked his parents, he's like, uh, can I go to this guy's house that I, know, I met on the internet and film a video with how him? How did you contact him? YouTube? Just, I think it was commenting on stuff or something okay. like that. Yeah, but how did you DM him? Was it on Twitter or was it? Um, was it on you? Because YouTube had a messaging I think, system. I somehow I ended up getting oh, his yeah. contact on Skype. So we, we just used to speak on Skype. YouTube messaging was lit. Like, yeah, I like, think it was. Like, just hey, I like, your, I like your time. content. Next one's like, I hope you fucking die. <laughs> I'm going to find where you live and kill you. It's like, damn, there's like no one to monitor this. Yeah, I think, <laughs> it, was the, I think it was the DMs that were on YouTube at the time. Bring um, them back, Susan. Yeah. The, know, Susan. the easiest way to set up collabs. Anyway, yeah, so I'll, I'll try to get through this quick. No, no, quick no, no take it's out. So, it's edited. Okay. Um, yeah, so I had to, his dad called me. He's like, my dad wants to talk to you. So I had to talk to his dad and he's like, uh, basically trying to suss out if I am actually a, do the same stuff that his son does and <laughs> what the deal is. And he eventually let him come do it and we filmed. I think that was like uh, the Krabby Patty video. It's a very disgusting video where I just eat. Uh, something that he made on his channel and then it links to like me eating it. He does the video of him making it mm -hmm. and then at the end it's got like the trail off where you go to my channel to watch me yeah. eat it. Yeah. Did his dad drop him off with that bucket in the car? Yeah, his dad dropped yeah, That's funny. Quick, quick, quick side quest question really quick. Yeah. I've thought about this a lot recently. Do you think there's still a place on YouTube for no. content that starts on one channel and oh. finishes on another? <laughs> Like, how do you mean? So like, like what you just described. Like, like do you think? Uh, like, do you I think that know. still? Like, do you think kids have the attention span to go watch a follow up video on something now? No, I, yeah, I think that's a novelty thing. I don't think it would necessarily be something. It's kind of like annotations do. back in the day, right? When you could like play a game with yeah. people and like click the yeah, yeah, this yeah. Video. You it's can't like, do that. I don't as think that doesn't exist now. anymore. I think Jack's films tried to do it with the new system, but yeah, not anyone as effective as you. It's got the retention just got to fucking plummet. Yeah, on each following. Anyway, I was curious about that. Um, yeah, so had a basic. That's that's where it formed. Uh, the start of the group, which we didn't know was going to be anything. Mm -hmm. um, then we did some other, a couple of other videos, and then eventually, I was just started commenting on Filthy Frank's stuff, being like, "Fly to Australia, fly to Australia, <laughs> um, come to Brazil." My, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 And the only thing that he would see that I would do was vomiting because I used to do this stuff where I just, uh, it's just like, Vomit, like really. Colored. Milk and shit, right? Really? The stuff you would think if you thought of YouTube in 2012. Yeah, that's high. Yeah, like, like milk drinking milk and shit. you vomit. Yeah. Yeah, just feel like that. I'm with it. Uh, so he was like, hmm, what video could we do together? You, you'd like vomiting. <laughs> <laughs> You're the vomit guy, right? That's your thing. Yeah, you yeah. Fucking yeah. throw up. All right. So that's where the, the cake video, the first one, came from. Because um, what is the first one called? Was it just vomit cake? Yeah, vomit, it's cake. vomit cake. Yeah, so I, I would eat the ingredients and then vomit them out and then we'd cook 
the cake and, oh, then, God. and then eat the cake. Oh, my God. Yeah, so you, you literally can't do that on YouTube now. <laughs> That's crazy. That, hey, fucking liberals ruin everything. Uh, you know I mean? Son of a bitch. Like, bring back fucking vomiting and cooking it. Fucking God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that, that series became a trilogy. There was vomit cake. Uh, hair cake, human cake, and then human cake, which was, which all, was like, all different parts yeah. of different YouTubers, the toenails, <gasps> clippings, all yeah, yeah. Dude, I remember that. Yeah, um, I remember this was a phenomenon at my school. Like people <laughs> were coming to school, like you guys see fucking the video that came out. Like, like, <laughs> it's like people that are eating each other's like, hair. I feel like our people our age at school and YouTube, you weren't watching Minecraft as you're watching. You're watching fucking fucked human up, cake. Fucked up shit. Like, the, remember, like, well, meat spin and, like, yeah. two girls, one cup. And yeah, well, I grew up in the line wire era. era. Yeah, I mean, yeah, but, like, right. that was, like, the thing. It was though. just right. ran, randomized fucking mystery bag. Yeah, it was you, fucked up. My friends, my friends would literally come over, to, like, or they, they would, like, say, come over to my house, and we all watch the ISIS beheading. Like, <laughs> it wasn't <laughs> yeah, yeah, it wasn't was cool. Watch. Yeah, it was, like, we didn't have shit to watch. It was, like, either porn <laughs> Or extreme like snuff violence, and we're yeah, like yeah. beating off to both. No wonder you have to <laughs> fucking check if you're real every now and then. <laughs> <laughs> I think yeah, I was talking but, about that the other day because yeah. so, uh, Facebook used to be like that. You well, see that, a lot of beheading was videos. Up. Yeah. Yeah. You just be yeah. scrolling, and it's just like okay, beheading, beheading video. And, and, and they, everyone, everyone our age watched it because it wasn't because you wanted to watch it. It was because you it was morbid curiosity, and you click on it. Yeah, and yeah. it's accessible. Yeah, there, if dude, if there was Minecraft, we just would have watched that. But like, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Like, because we just like after we watch it, we're like, that's that, crazy. Yeah. And there then we was played Minecraft. There was, there was, there was Minecraft. Minecraft content. Sorry, that guy. We didn't have Dweem. <laughs> we didn't have Dweem. Dweem. There was no Dweem yet. The problem was the moderation was way lower. And that's yeah. why how everything slipped through the cracks. So you're on your For You page and you see ISIS beheading or Dream <laughs> cheat speed run. Like, what are you, what are you picking? I, I do remember this like brief era in high school where we had this like Skype group chat and we would like call and people would drop links from like Live Leak. And then you'd come out of like your room and then get like eat dinner with mom and dad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it's like, you're just kind of forever changed, but <laughs> just eating your carrots. Yeah, I just watched two men beat up another man to death in the woods. And now I'm eating chicken with like, my brothers. I watch, I watch Kimbo put a guy's fucking face <laughs> and make it into a pancake with his knees. Oh man! Anyway, so <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> yeah, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, kids we, today. I had right. to circle back around from that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you made the trilogy. Um, yeah, so somewhere in between there, uh, Ian Idubs was making videos, and I used to comment on his stuff, and he was like pretty small, and I started showing his stuff to How to Basic, being like, "This guy's really funny, but he's like hasn't blown up yet or whatever," and. Um, yeah, same sort of thing. Just me harassing him to come make a video or do something. And then, uh, yeah, it all sort of just happened like that. Everyone flew to Australia rather than any of us going uh, to America. Yeah. It's generous. You're just, you're just out yeah. in the field. You're just watching content, yeah. commenting, saying, let's do something. Let's do something. <laughs> yeah. But, um, yeah, that's, that's the start of it. How did you guys meet? Like, yeah, Chad, Chad fits in there somewhere. Yeah. All right. We've talked about it a couple of times. Chad, yeah. Chad can tell his. Oh, I basically that. I used to play Diablo when Diablo, when Diablo came out. Diablo, was it two or three? I can't remember. Three. three. Probably three. Three, three. Yeah, three. came yeah, out when you were like three, yeah. seven. Yeah. yeah and yeah, I was grinding it. And Max, I knew so Max because I had Max added on Facebook before he kind of blew up and hit the friend cap on Facebook. So I was commenting. <laughs> I was like, you want I some, di want some Diablo gold? Want some Diablo gold? And. Wait, so uh, like because he was a YouTuber or because he went to the Because he was a YouTuber. Yeah, okay. He was a YouTuber. And then uh, Chad was trying to I was getting in. I was gold, driving so in. So I'd talk to him like on a <laughs> yeah, post. Yeah, and then lied through my teeth, flew across the, the state, met him, and uh yeah, we were friends since. I didn't stay in Perth when I flew over to meet you for the first time. I yeah, did a video with, with you and we did some cons together. And then um <clears throat> Did did IDubs and Joji fly all the way to WA to make those videos? Yeah, yeah so not only do they have to <laughs> fly <laughs> to Melbourne, they then have to after the 16 hour flight, then I have to hop on another seven or eight hour flight to get to Perth, which is the worst it's trip eight in the hours world. by plane. Yeah, it's Holy the same fuck. distance between oh, the states. Well, states. Yeah, yeah. With Australia's the same size as the states almost. Yeah, that house where all those cake videos were filmed and like tons of stuff in the backyard is just, I can't imagine the smell that still <laughs> hangs around there. <laughs> like, is it, was it abandoned? No, it was no, just we my lived house. there. Oh, <laughs> we lived there. <laughs> we said still. Oh, because, okay, so the. The job, that house had like the lino wasn't pinned. Do you know, do you know flat lino? Like, uh, like 
you know, just fake textured floors that go over cement. It's like a thin plastic. Like yeah, yeah, like yeah. Vinyl. Vinyl or something. Yeah, so yeah, they yeah, had yeah. that, but they hadn't um, put like uh, guards on it to pin it down to the corners. Oh, so no. over time, it lifted. So when we'd film a it was video, just all lifted up. Yeah, it was time, all lifted but, up, and it was all cracked, and shit would go underneath it. So when we'd film. And there'd be eggs it's and like blood. It's like a puke Yeah, it, it all it all seep in underneath it, oh, and so there's no way to clean it unless you rip it up. Yeah, um, yeah, those, yeah. Those cake videos are filmed like corner of that room where it's like lifted there, so all the st- the slop that's going onto the floor is like hitting the actual corner and going under, settling like underneath the, the actual thing. Some the, some contractor ripped it up one day. He's like, oh yeah, you got you got puke damage <laughs> <laughs> all over. <laughs> Fucking disgusting. It was just like every crevice of the house, like every crack, every nook, every the garden, cranny. The garden's covered garden. in glass. There's glass <laughs> everywhere. You, can't, like, you, you go out to the garden, they go, why are you putting shoes on? And you're like, I know, that's <laughs> Dude, that, <laughs> bro, it's a war zone out there. You're not even going to step on. That house might be preserved. Like if people tour it, like Anne Frank's room. That was, that was <laughs> gonna say, yeah, it's like a, it's like a historical site. Yeah. Did if you, you look, see someone moved into it and sent a photo, or they the listing photo I, of the listing? No, there's something if rent. you look up Max Mofo address, the the actual listing for that house to rent it on like the real real estate website comes up first or okay. something. Yeah, just because of the the, the tags that are associated with because I've, I've got docs at some point, and then people always comment this thing. I think that the cake video was we knew it was going to be docs because the. Uh, Great this whisper. shot is literally just in it. I'm just filming the front of my house. You're, you're, like, you're yeah. soy jacking at it? Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. We knew, we knew, we knew it was going to be docs because we docked ourselves. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> so. I was going to move out at some point after that, so it was really fine. Fuck em. Yeah. And then, um, continue. Yeah, so Chad got, um, in. So, anything for views, the name comes from a Filthy Frank video because Chad was willing to do anything I was, I was around like a bunch of boys and they're all big YouTubers and I'm just that yeah, fat, Chad that didn't, fat Chad guy. Didn't have any, didn't I didn't have, do any YouTube. He didn't have any clout yet. He had yeah. the, and it was like, I'll do anything. Oh, like, I see, I, let, I me see. Do, let me get, do something. Yeah. So uh, uh, one of the, the Filthy Frank videos, I think you're introduced as anything for views and it's like, this guy will do anything. And um, yeah, Chad just started taking that role where you, just, you could just do anything to him. Light him on fire, fucking tattoo him, whatever, until he... Uh, Eventually, uh, got enough clout to say. Yeah, what's no. your fucking <laughs> tattoo you have <laughs> on your ass? Blastoise. Which one? I got a. So we got some unreleased ones. We got that. so much. I'm just thinking yeah. in my head the amount of things we got, we you've got been one for, We got one for a filthy Frank video, and the video got scrapped. So yeah, oh, it was like a no. pink guy on my ass. <laughs> was the video just deleted? Um, is the PewDiePie tattoo? Don't think that I ever got a PewDiePie tattoo. Yeah, I got PewDiePie tattoo. That was the first. one. I mean, you want to get him out or what? Oh, no. no. Okay. <laughs> yeah, hey, keep, <laughs> those, say keep no. those. I'll show them you after gotta, the camera. You got tattoo. I haven't forgotten. Um, I remember some like Twister video. I like six. Yeah, Deadly yeah. Twister. Yeah. yeah, that was good. But Deadly I, Twister one, Deadly Twister two. As, as time went on too, it wasn't that any of us stopped talking. It was just. When you get older, you get girlfriends, different lives. Change, yeah. it's, it's not that we don't all still talk. It's just like content direction. Everyone's yeah. doing. It. The, yeah, we're getting the direction int- changes, and what you're pursuing changes and things like that. All like, the other stuff was getting taken down by YouTube and then it just became harder and harder to fly across. I mean, they'll do the flying. It was harder and harder to fly. I mean, everyone- To Australia, <laughs> do a, a week or two of video shoots four times a year. You're you all know? individually doing even better now. Yeah. Right. So, it, so it's not even like it was well, like- Well, at a, the end of the day, the, the main, this, the, the reason that's severed is because YouTube didn't allow it. That's basically what it is. Mm. Like YouTube's putting the the- just gets more and more narrow like what is acceptable even if i look like a year ago i could see stuff that was actually okay then that's now not okay on youtube it's like getting yeah Yeah. when you talk about that do you mean not so much that the video videos couldn't be made or uploaded but that they're demonetized and they don't enter like no they can can be deleted because like those like uh, stuff like vomit cake is still on okay okay the three cake videos have been terminated and deleted. They, really? they don't exist anymore. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, they're actually. only re-uploads, yeah. Oh, my so bad. So if you, I feel like if you did make that, it would just be, it's not just yeah, there's certain things demonetized. That YouTube is like, they I just deleted the video. Yeah. I, was still, I still watched those like a couple, like a few years ago. Yeah, they just re-uploaded. Yeah. From people we should have asked now. Susan when we had her to just oh. bring them back. Yeah. Bring back the cake. Tell her to whitelist my channel. Just <laughs> think. let me post whatever I want. I'll stop yeah, I can imagine again. you guys have gone through fucking hell with monetization and demonetization. Yeah. We've, got, we've had problems with this channel as well, but we've 
finally got in contact with a partnership manager who's helped us out. Yeah. And yeah. just not even that, just since all the borders have opened up, we've been talking to everyone and other people. And we've seen so many people in the past three months, like people all been giving us advice. And even Ludwig the other night was giving us advice and stuff. And it's not, it's not like secrets, it's not YouTube secrets. It's you have to get in trouble for it to know that it's not okay. Makes, yeah, everyone's yeah. figuring out the system as they go. Yeah, yeah. And so it's, just, it's just a collective shared knowledge. Yeah, like, and YouTube just points you to this vague fucking thing. Like, read this manuscript of bullshit. You probably did something in here somewhere. Yeah, <laughs> it, it is. But we won't tell you vague. what. You got to figure that yeah. one out. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah that's, that's, that's the fucking worst part. They're like, hey, you broke a rule. We're not going to tell you though. Yeah, but also stop yeah. doing it. Yeah, <laughs> and we're and I'm like, okay, well that fucking sucks. Unless you get ten thousand retweets, then we'll fix it manually. Yeah, <laughs> yeah right. Yeah, 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 like yeah, the yeah, yeah. That's why I think the Patreon model is kind of like a it's it's a cool workaround because like you directly monetize and then you can like put whatever there. Yeah, and then you can I don't know that like our Patreon blew up and Ludwig. It was funny because this this whole thing started as like a thing that I I thought was going to just lose money and we did it for fun. Yeah, Ludwig was like, no, we can make money on it. And then when our Patreon came out and it just like really blew up and we were like, uh oh. Ludwig's like, okay, I can't make my friends do things for my company anymore. <laughs> <laughs> they got to work. They got to they got, they got to make the money. Yeah, <laughs> we, so, we we got a Patreon as well, and that was the same thing. Like, it's a shame that some of the stuff that gets taken down on YouTube now. We literally will do stuff, and we'll it, it could sometimes be in the last edit. And we're like, we can't leave it in. So it's really great to have a place to put it. And it also, we originally made our Patreon just because we needed the money because we were just it was costing us too much. We weren't making anything, and now it's making us money. But it also means we don't have any pressure or obligation to do any brand deals because we've got the Patreon. Yep. Yeah. So yeah, it's yeah. like, it's yeah. also, it's not only is it that, it's also stress taking off and having to work with other brands and figure that out. Cause not getting, that we don't do brand deals sometimes. Yeah, we do some, the one off every now yeah, and then. But we don't want to put a bunch of bumper stickers yeah, on the show. Yeah, but if, yeah, yeah, if yeah. we didn't have the Patreon, I would be spending what I spend now arranging the Patreon or editing, I'd be spending that on finding brand deals, putting fucking. Like this Sales. podcast to put like five ads in their one hour long cast and they're you know, yeah. five uh, yeah ad reads ad sponsor reads, reads yeah, yeah. And, I was like, I yeah, want and they're that. like a minute each and it's like we could do start, both. three in the middle fucking well even end. when we did them more we tried to make ours like super engaging it was never just a here's the logo on screen and I'm just talking to you like this and you can use this uh, code to get this off like we made like high effort skits most of the time and tried to make it something that was watchable. So you don't feel like such a sellout, you know? Yeah. yeah. Well, that's, it's, that's, it's also people would leave lots of comments saying how funny this ad reads were and how like they didn't feel like ads. And then you can also go to YouTube analytics and see where people have replayed the video the most. Yeah, people used to watch, just watch the ads. That's yeah. Yeah. We've, we've, yeah. That we've found yeah. basically the same exact, like yeah. the, the way you described it and like the reception, like, and uh, we, we've luckily had like people who we take ads from be like, yeah, this is chill. Yeah. Because sometimes we'll just like literally like, like we'll, you know, they only pay for a minute. We give them three, but we say whatever we want. Well, it's not that right. they only pay for a minute. They give you so much information. Sometimes you get to cram it in. You like that's not finished. Yeah, that ain't finished a minute. Not be yeah, like fin a minute. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, we have. I have a loophole because I. I think the first episode I said this is indeed just a scam to get rich. And once I hit a million in my bank account, fucking out. <laughs> so don't forget that shit. Every time you see an ad, doesn't mean it. Me, you, it I mean it. it. That yeah. once I have seven figures. Go fuck yourself. Doesn't mean it. Watch you'll the come back. You'll get a, a certain kind of lifestyle. You won't be able to. Yeah. You need like, more money. I say like more money. Money. One time, one time, Anthony was like, "We were we were talking about the idea of pre-recording some episodes," and he's like, "But I like meeting everyone." I do. I'm like, it's, it's, I'm a, like, it's a work thing. It's a schedule, right? I like to see my friends. Yeah. I like you to like have seeing routine. his friends. So you're not you get a million. Once it's seven you days, you like on around a million okay. numbers, but you're gonna you're gonna want to you talk like to your friends. Me every what day do we film? I don't even know. <laughs> oh, we can't. There's one that we can't film on. When is it? Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Ra Wednesday. Raid. When's Raid night? Oh, I, we can't film on it's Raid night. Raids, you can't. We what can't server film. you on? I'm on Argul. It's like an oceanic server. So also, that's, that makes that's, that's right. It was funny because Wednesday was like the most ideal filming day for us because Jess has another job who does the camera work and Scott has the company to run and everything. And I was just like, nah, got Raid. I can't. I'm sorry. Raid. I don't know it's the most convenient day, but I Raid on Wednesday. Wrath is gonna come out, and I'm gonna have to fight the fucking urge, bro. I've I want to really get ahead on filming before Wrath, which is great because <laughs> I, all my guildies, because we're all not all of us, but a lot of us are locals. My guildies are like my second family. It sounds really gay. No, it's they, not. They I, look, I I went I went <laughs> through it. Actually, it is. But I went through that right now. No. So you understand, my I man. Understand, you understand. Bro. 
Firestone. We got an shit. Airbnb booked with like a hot tub, and we're like we got we like we like crowdfunded a chef to come in and cook our meals, and we're spending a week in an Did Airbnb. You really? Yeah, we're, that's we're, so exciting. Yeah, 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 that's yeah. shit. It's a it's it's really good because the game is great, and we're gonna relive what we wanted to. As a kid, I would be playing Wrath of like with all my guildies as a kid. Like it'd be so awesome if we're all in the same house, yeah. private chef, hot tub, big TV. Guess what? We got, I got money now. I can do it, you know? <laughs> and now when your fucking priest is just shitting the bed, you can go over and knock his teeth out. Yeah, we bully the fuck out of our healers, and they got good. Like, they <laughs> yes, got sir. good. Yeah, they, they, they cut the shit at the guild. Yeah. When, I, when I was younger... I died, fucking healers! <laughs> when I was younger, like 15, 16, uh, everyone who was in like my, my like Call of Duty clan met online and stuff. We ended up meeting in real life, like across the country mm. and stuff. And uh, I, I like had everyone fly to my house um, for a summer. They stayed at my house for like 10 days. It was like, it was like twelve of us in my house, and everyone brought their Xbox on the plane, the and, and, the and we dream. we set up like a six v six setup with like on one router in my house. Oh shit! And uh, and we were playing. It was uh, you you group up with six people in the house, and then the other six group up too. And you go out and you play lobbies, and you have one twenty four hour period to make a montage with your side of the, of the team, and, uh -huh. and then we had to, you had to edit yourself. You had to turn it around in twenty four hours. And we like had a battle of the montage. It was so fucking it's like tight. a game jam yeah. or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's some very niche. It's a game jam thing. except for like racist <laughs> COD edits. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> did you guys? Uh, did you guys like land against each other? Yeah, we also played against okay. each other and like yeah. But That's it was just cool. it was just cool because it was just like dude when you're trying to hit clips and it's fucking two a.m. and no one's hit anything yet and like you haven't even started editing. It's like it is crazy. We it was to, like a 40 hour film festival. When we <laughs> used to go do the Xbox COD, we used to bring like two cartons of coke between four of us and. Would say this has to be finished. Fucking 13, 14 just, year just, old me at fucking six in the morning drinking the last <laughs> coke. Yeah, yeah, we don't even taste it I, anymore. I, I, honestly, I just thought you meant blow. <laughs> <laughs> well, now that I'm an adult, yeah. <laughs> couple of really cool teenagers. <laughs> yeah. Uh, gaming rules. Dudes uh, rock, huh? Dudes rock and gaming. While you guys, while you guys were playing WoW, the, I missed the WoW era because I was busy playing competitive Mario Kart Wii. Yeah, it's look true. where that goes. Yeah. Flag. <laughs> <laughs> that, that fucking hair. And, that, and now you're bisexual. Yeah. 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 I, almost, kind of actually. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm I've heard in the pipeline yeah, from Mario there Kart was a, Online. There was, a, there was a Mario Kart Wii competitive to discovering your sexuality pipeline for sure. Yeah, and that's beautiful. Yeah. Because I way. think it's harder to do that in COD. There's the, too much the, to talk to yeah, The media mm. just paints it bad, but here we are discovering our sexualities while playing a little Mexican. Is he Mexican or Spanish? What is he? What? Italian man with a red hat. <laughs> Mario. Yeah. Is he Mexican? Pinche <laughs> <laughs> way. I think you're thinking of uh, Odyssey when he goes to the sand level and wears the sombrero. Okay, maybe. I, you know what is so cute in that game is he has a little like uh, mechanic outfit. Like it, like he works on cars. Man, I love Mario. I like that they put his nipples in the game. They did. Yeah. Yeah. There's like, some good outfits. We sure. needed Arnie's. that. Mm. Mm -hmm. Sir. What about peps? Hmm? What about peps? You got a little pepperonis. They're Cheerios. You're just saying everything's pepperonis then. Nah, it makes sense. Pepperoni. He's Italian. You're right. And then uh, he's, yeah, you're Italian? Pepperonis. He's a little prosciutto. But you said, <laughs> you said Max is Italian No, he said Mario's Italian. Oh, I thought Max. I was Max excited. Pepperonis. We had a brother. What's your guys' heritage now? Tell us now. I don't want to disclose it on camera. You don't? You're from Wales. I can't. Nah, I don't want to What about you, Max? I am 25% Aboriginal. Okay. You know what that is? Um, yeah. yeah. Okay, we we yeah. respect our elders, Press, past, present, present emerging. and emerging. <laughs> yeah. Yes, good boy. Um, and then I think English or something? Something like that. Okay. But mostly just Australian, really, I would say. Yeah. Prison colonist. Yeah. Yeah. 20% luck. 20% skill. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Hey, you guys are presumably both uncut? Yeah. Oh, yeah. No. I'm, I'm Jewish. Scott. You're cut? Oh, yeah. No way. Yeah. We're keeping a One we're more. keeping me, a tally with the guests right hand. now. Gentlemen. Oh, really? Yeah, we've asked every that? guest. Uncut's in the lead, I think. Yeah, I think it's like we've we've not every, in this room. Only one guest did not Can tell us. Can you list every really? guest yeah. and tell me? Yeah. Uh, okay, well, Carl Jacobs <laughs> cut. Um, Mr. Beast did not disclose. Presumably, <laughs> presumably cut based presumably on demographic. I think every little bit of information that Mr. Beast has is worth more money than Stavros willing to give you. uncut uncut um Ted Nificent Ted Nificent cut, cut. Ted's actually, Jewish right as well I'm not sure is he I'm probably he's Nificent whatever that is yeah. and uh, then 
Who else have Who else we, we had? Amaranth. Uh, <laughs> in, 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 Amaranth. Inconclusive. <laughs> inconclusive evidence. <laughs> um, I'm pretty see, sure if you dig deep enough, you can find it like a, a female cut, like, right? Uh, yeah, well, no, well, that's it's actually... A little, a, it's a, it, that's yeah. just general mutilation, yeah. I think. So. That's pretty, yeah. cool. but why is it not that for, for men? What's up, guys? It's me, Jordan Peterson. <laughs> 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 well, welcome back to the Basin Pilled Pod. <laughs> uh, who else have we had on our show? Uh, Asa. House. I feel, Asa. Asa Butterfield, Asa's the actor. Uncut. 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 Yeah. And then, um, uh, and then uh, Alex, uncut. Yeah, right. I did a thing, uncut. Uh, Connor, also uncut. Oh, yeah, it's just because no, it's just we have Ludwig, uncut. We have so many uh, international guests. That's why it's so special that you, your penis looks like our penises. You is I, I don't know if the norm in Australia is even if any religion is. Pre, it's pretty normal to get your penis cut just as an Australian in general. I, I think I, I think, could be I wrong. Think, but, I, I think, think more Australian, Australian yeah. friends are uncut. Yeah, yeah. yeah. from I, where I, I'm from, at least I think more people are uncut. I, don't, I, don't, I was never really looking at my friends' but, dicks growing up. So I, well, I was Chad. I might give a, I might, <laughs> I think, I I might have to find a friend on this one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Sam, I think yeah, I think it depends what groups of friends you're around and stuff, but yeah, yeah, Australia is pretty... I, I asked my mom when I was a little kid, I was like, why did I get circumcised? And she's just like, I think it looks better. And I was like, mm. all right, that's, that's weird, mom. She, well, she was looking <laughs> out for me. She was like, I, you know. Your mom kind of well, sus. Your mom waking up in the morning and that's a nice cock. So like, <laughs> Dude, what? oh, I've never told this before. You want to know what happened? When I was fucking 13, I learned how to jerk off, right? Which, as you do. <laughs> yes. So yep. I start jerking off with the, uh, like, you know, things in the house as, as lubrication. <laughs> Wait, hold on. That's you guys well, you want to keep this one to yourself? Or we no, no, no. This, okay. is, this, is for, this is for you, too. Uh -huh. And so I, I start beating my shit. And then one day I was going to go on a road trip with my friend who lives across the street and his family. But right before, something weird was happening to my junk downstairs. It was weird. It was like it had like this attached plastic film all around it. And it was like... It was like hard, kind of like chemical burn. It wasn't chemical burn. It was it was as if my dick was wrapped in like hard, like heated plastic. <laughs> what? And I'm like, what the fuck is going on? I don't think Scab anyone has ever said that. I get ever. really scared. Yeah. <laughs> Unlocked a new phrase. I That's get cool. extremely scared. And I'm like, mom. Oh no! I was like, something's wrong with my 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 pee pee, my peep. <laughs> and she's like, well, what's wrong with it? Is it getting hard? <laughs> Because she thought I was so fucking thick that I didn't know what a boner was. But she's like, well, okay, it's all right. Like, let me see it. And uh, she kind of examines it. She's like, I don't know what this is. And I'm like, I don't know either. She's like, how do you feel? I'm like, I feel fine. And so I end up going on the road trip. And then in my friend's grandmother's bathroom, two days later, I start peeling it off. What happened is it was like a became shampoo. A butterfly. It, yeah. <laughs> it just became an adult dick. <laughs> It was, it was, a, it was, I was jerking, Ew, I was jerking out with shampoo <laughs> and I didn't like clean it off enough. So it formed like this protective cocoon okay. around my shit. And I was like peeling it like a snake molting. <laughs> okay. No, <laughs> that wasn't, fuck? that wasn't a protection. I have had the exact same thing, but with something different. That is, remember, you know how I said chemical burn? Yeah. That's chemical burn. Really? Yes. I chemical burn my shit? Yes. Is that why I can't so that, come I from had, a I had, job? I, I, had, I, had, I had a problem with that too when I was a kid because I used to just use random shit in the house for lube. So I used to use one of my mom's face creams for lube. And it, was an, oh. it had an acid peel like thing oh. in it. The same thing. One day I woke up and my dick was like... like it was a yeah, bit, yeah, that was mine. Yep. Dude, did I have a chemical burn? Yeah, Can you come burn. from blowjobs? No, actually. Oh yeah. my god, <laughs> dude, we're the same. We cracked the code. This is bad because it means there's no hope. It means I irreversibly <laughs> fucked with my dick, and so did Chad. You're like the opposite of a superhero. No, like you just you just no, touched no. chemicals but didn't get shit. You just lost the ability. No, to I nut. got the ability to last. What? I last like a crazy. Oh, that doesn't work. No, that doesn't work for me because when it's in, them, yeah. It, boom. Okay, well, then, yeah. <laughs> your, your last sexual anecdote on this show is also about busting it under a minute. That's true, but that was because I was challenging myself. You ever get into a situation where you just like, I need to get like, you're doing it for her, and you're like, I just got to get over and done with. Yeah, all like but over it, over fifty percent of the time. Yeah, because in, it's it's hard to make a woman come. It's really easy to make a guy come. Yeah. So just the act of trying as a man is enough, in my opinion. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to the Base and Build podcast. No, just say that one again. I'll like write it. <laughs> no, 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 no. It was, it was a joke. It was a joke. It licked the foot again. <laughs> it was a joke. Give me so much foot. <laughs> no, no version. There's a, no. there's a Bernie Mac bit back in like the Kings of Comedy. He was like, uh, I always remembered it because I watched it so young. I used to watch stand-up all the time and I was like 10, didn't understand it. 
but he was like, I got three minutes. That's it. Like, that's all I'm going to give you. And she's, and he's like talking about like fucking his wife. He's like, what are you fucking screaming and shit for? Just busting up so I can go to bed. And I was like, oh, that's what sex should be like. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 10. <laughs> what are we, what are we at yeah, for time? Where are we yeah. at, bro? Oh, Two shit. Two hours? Oh, shit. Oh, I don't think she's going to go an hour and a half. All right. We got you for an extra 30, yeah, well, my sweet little princes. My sweet do little you, do you boys. edit the, the much out. down? Or? Barely. We, we've Barely. never removed more than five minutes. Okay. Yeah. So you it's just for censoring things. Or censoring. Whatever someone doesn't sometimes want to Eamon fucks up a bit. It's like, okay. you know, whatever. Ours is cool. different. We, we, we filmed for like three or four hours. And it's 40 to, 50 minutes. That yeah. is unreal. Yeah. Wow. I, I like, think Ludwig's going to be the shortest podcast we've ever oh, had. Oh, before we close, can we end on that? I want to ask, how was filming with Ludwig? Oh, we got him good. Yeah. He came in with we this. Like, he came good. in like, he came in like acting so cool. He's like, I'm putting my foot down here. Eight beers. Eight beers. That's my limit. And that's all that's happening. Everyone knew after three beers, this, you can't. <laughs> we got him to throw up, so yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, we won. You we film won. it? Yeah, we filmed yeah. it. Let's go. If you yeah. can't, if you can't publish that, we would I'll love that. I'll footage. give it to you. Yeah, yeah. I've never yours. seen him puke. It's um, it's, like, it's like, he's holding like a uh, a drawer, like, plastic drawer, like acrylic drawer at the table. Uh, the oh my yes. god! Are you yeah. just totally desensitized to people throwing up? Uh, no, it was disgusting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I hated that yeah. shit. <laughs> Is all of that? So you upload all of that to the Patreon? Like that'll. That's where that. Well, I mean, yeah, we, we give it to the, him to review. If he doesn't want us to upload it, we'll as long say. as there's anything, but, I mean, you probably then, guys yeah, probably yeah. just upload it instead, right? Can, okay, I, I do need to shit. Can I shit in your bathroom? Yeah, go for it. it. Do you want to wrap it up there? Well, hold yeah. on. I need to piss again. As yeah, well. I need to piss oh, as well. Not, come on, huh? I'll hold it. Somebody else's mic. Yeah, what the? You're fuck? not gonna have it right now. Say your mic, bro. <laughs> can we label that one? No, no, it's coming. Yeah, yeah. Dude, why is this so long? Is that real? <laughs> oh, it smells like eggs. Holy shit. Bro, bro. Uh, <laughs> try, it. try it. Try it. Try it. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching the yard, everybody. Oh, my God. That's how much you guys <laughs> <laughs> Try it on. It's delicious. I need to get closer. Smell it. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh! Thank you so much for watching our podcast. Dude, fuck off. Uh, <laughs> until next time, everybody. See you in the Peace. Patreon episode. <laughs> I fucking. I, I, fucking <laughs> I fucking knew it, dude. And then uh, I was like. No, you're being a hypocrite. And you said, well, none of your friends like playing video games with you at all, ever. <laughs> and uh, I was like, that's hurtful. My man was just swinging. Yeah, he, he, he was just swinging in a dark room. Yeah, and, I was uh, acting a lot. I was and then, really mad about it. And, and I was like, and I, I literally, and, and Aiden goes, I like playing with him. And I, and I was like, Aiden, not.